Oh, jeez, sorry. Hey, fellas. Happy Sunday. I'm really sad. I foolishly thought this would be around forever. <laughs> it's busted. It's not. It's dead. I don't know why I thought it would be around. Uh, it wouldn't be taken back down. Because it's not like it was snuck back up or anything. It's not like a fan thing. I don't know. Hey, everybody! Congrats to all the claimers out there. Remember, it is September, so you get your free sub. Very proud of you guys. Big ups. Thanks, Calb. Congrats on the free sub. How you doing? Things are good. Things are good. Dude, the hair is exceptionally long now. Um, I, I'm kind of doing a thing where I'm doing an accidental bit. It's not like I mean to do it, but sometimes I'll just do a thing... And I won't stop. Like, I did this uh, with my facial hair a few years ago. And I just, I, I'm like, well, it's kind of long. What if I just don't do anything about it? And here I am. Why is your camera like four times higher quality? You want to know what it actually was? I just set it up wrong. Thanks, Bumbus. Thanks, Pin Shadow. Thanks, Perry Litz. When I got here, when I moved in, I actually just set it up wrong. In fact, I think I have the focus on wrong right now. Hold on. It could be even closer. Wait. Uh, probably like that. Yeah, this is probably as good as it gets. Uh, a little bit more. Push it out a little bit more. Okay. I'm bad at focusing. Whatever. You see it. You get it. You can see the, the veins in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that always what people go to first, huh? This guy, I got blue-ass veins. You should shave your head. I tried it once. Not like fully shave, uh, like bald, but I did a buzz cut once, and it looked very bad on me. Um, I, I, I don't have a head shape or a face shape for it. I, already, the face is a little bit too small for the head. It gets way worse uh, when you add other stuff. When there's no hair to cover up the forehead, it's way worse. Do you have pictures? I streamed for a while with it. People saw it. Dude, I can't believe this. It's dead. Look, th dude, there's a spooky castle, and I wanted to have one where the guy gives it up to Dracula. Look at this. Fuck, man. What happened? I'm actually so sad. Why did they kill it? I don't know. It literally just came back, and now it just doesn't work again. Maybe it's an ad blocker thing? Dude, I don't know. It's weird. Back to in-game text generation? Yeah, but that's not the same. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. <sighs> This is different, man. Have you tried Pokemon World Wordle? Wordle? Wordle. <laughs> I do I could think of something I cared about less. I don't want to do Pokemon Wordle. It would be difficult for me to consider less interesting things. You know I don't like Pokemon. It's cool, but you'd never get it. I think I get it if there are like types and shit. <laughs> so, so they took down the site so I have to just keep using this again I'm just gonna have to keep using this I think I have to keep alright I, I didn't want to alright I'll, I'll do it again stupid
Okay. I feel so bad reusing content. God, I'm a fucking hack. Oh, the sad walk away from the turkey. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fell off, yeah. Man. Happy Sunday, everybody. So listen, okay? Listen, I have some bad news. Or good news if you hate the stream. There will be no stream on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to Florida. I can't say why. Just know I will miss you very much. I'll be back on Thursday and then Sunday. All right? It's not Disney. I'm not going to Disney. I'm going to Florida and I leave tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> it's not Disney. Why? I think it's more of a projection of your belief system. The fact that you think Florida equals Disney. Now, I may be flying into Orlando, but that doesn't mean that I'm going there. That's just, that happens to be where the uh, airport. No, I'm not doing Universal. Relax, okay? It's not what you think. And I fly back out on Thursday. So that means I'll be back on Thursday, okay? <laughs> okay. So, a couple of things. Got a lot of things tonight. Dude, my word pad for tonight is like 15 things long. Holy. <laughs> It's gonna be a long night. Here's my first and last attempt for this emote. I, dude, you guys miss so often. No. This is this is pretty good, but we have better versions of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this already exists. Well, kind of, I don't know. Would you use this? I don't think you would use this. I don't think this gets used. I'm sick of this song. I'm skipping this song. I'm so sick of this song. I've heard it so many times. No more of that. No. Hey, uh... <laughs> two things. While we're, we're Smash posting, did you guys see this clip? This is a clip of, I believe, Mia versus Akola. Uh, this is at a big... Japanese tournament, winner's finals. I think it just happened, right? Uh, <laughs> watch this clip. I won't say anything. I don't want to... I, I, I Listen, I want you to come to your own conclusions, okay? I want you to watch this absent of any bias or subjectivity. What do you think of this clip? So, like, I don't know when it happened. I've really, I've been watching, you know, Ultimate since it came out in 2018. I've been keeping an eye on it. And, you know, I, I've been, I, I don't know when this happened. But, like, something has changed. Um, I, I watched this, and I, I feel like, I don't know how to put this. You know the dad in Cats in the Cradle? Or Cat's Cradle by Cat Stevens, I think? And it's like the dad doesn't have time for the kid, and he's like, oh, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. And then the kid grows up, 
and uh, the kid doesn't want to spend. I feel like this game has changed so much because I haven't looked at it or paid attention to it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should have paid more attention to the game. Maybe I should have steered it in a different direction. Like, maybe I could have done something. I don't know. But I look at this, That's and, right. like, dude, the ending... The ending is we build a wall, anvil, up smash, F smash, F smash, tech, cart. <laughs> I, I like, and and don't get me wrong, I, I Mia is is not absolved of any blame either. Just to be clear, this is just... Hey, he built this little house. What do we do? Oh, by the way, ads starting right now. See you in a couple minutes. Sorry about the ads. It's the first 10 minutes. We don't skip the first one. See you in a little bit. Mia is just as... He holds just as much blame. Look. Bomb. 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 Double jump bomb. 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 Hit bomb. Bomb again. Oh no, the counter to bomb! Wonder what he was gonna do during this jump. Oh. <laughs> I will say that's a mix up. I didn't know he was gonna do that. I didn't that that surprised me. Uh, that makes me up. I guess he tried to like oh, this is like a he tried to jump over and like go with him. Miss input meant to bomb. Would bomb have done any actually would bomb have done something? <laughs> That'd be very fun. I don't think so. I think Bomb gets run over. But what else does he do here aside from spam Bomb? Wait. Wait. Don't fight. He has a diamond. He has other diamond. He's at 169. I guess you guys can't see uh, Game & Watch percent. It's 87. He's He's basically half his HP. Just run away. Like, run away, he's got half mats, not that much left in terms of iron, you gotta run away. And and listen, I'm not saying this like, oh, he should have done this. It's way harder to do that in the moment. I'm just saying there is stuff he could do, which is not engage. I don't know, something about this kind of laid bare all the, the, the faults of the game. It's like seeing your parents get old. Like, one day you're just like, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, the world is fucked up. Those wrinkles weren't there before. What happened? It's sad. The fact we have to think this hard proves how good Steve is, Jesus. I don't think so. I think any top tier does that. You have to approach any top tier with uh, with with discretion in any game. That's how it works. It's not the same mental stack. I'm talking about top, not in just Smash. I'm talking about other games. Not in Smash Brothers. Play other fighting games. Other top tiers, just depending on the character, can kind of just do this. You kind of have to engage Steve because any activity makes him get more mats. Bro, he, are, you, are you looking at the same game I am? He already has gold and a diamond. Like, he, yes, he could just camp about. He, it's 169 to 87. And obviously, like, you know, it, it, the, you run the risk that he might get two hits and then Steve dies. But, like, let's just, the, let's just take it easy. Slow it down. If you have the lead, materials don't matter. I mean, if you already have this shit, who cares? Why they just quit patching the game will always confuse me. They're not going to keep patching the game for like eight years. Game's dead. I just watched this and I, I like something about this clip just made this game look. Uh, and and, and I, I have this with a lot of other games. So don't get me wrong. It's not just an ultimate thing. But I'm like, damn, that's bad. That's a bad game. Ugh. You should patch it for them. <laughs> you want the Coney patch? Can't turn off stage hazards. Good luck. I'd take that switch away so fast. The hazard switch? Nope. Put that shit back on. Ooh. 
WarioWare only? No, no. I'm not a monster. I'm not only WarioWare. I just think it's a counterpick. Are we at Endgame? Oh, brother, we've been there for six months. Actually, that's not true. Kazuya was fake Endgame. Everybody's like, oh my god, Kazuya, Kazuya. Kazuya is not Endgame. Kazuya is the, is the bunny hill before the actual Endgame. You think it's over. It's not over. Now it's over. <laughs> Thank you, Elysio. Hope I got that right. Kazuya is better Luigi. Kazuya is Luigi Prime. All the FGC characters are Luigi's. We've talked about this. I, you can't even make the joke anymore because it's been made so fucking much, right? Like, we're so far past the, the this tier list generating character archetype whatever. Like, the, the FGC characters are Luigi's. And it's stupid that a Luigi is that, but yeah. Do you think there's no more counterplay to discover? I, I think the counterplay lies in your countering of the player and not necessarily the character. Obviously, there might be some interactions where it's like, oh, this always beats Cart. But I think we would have found those by now, right? I think it's now like, oh, Akola gets scared when he's at high percent. Bro starts rolling. I'm going to beat that. But some Steves don't get scared. Some Steve's just clap that forward smash over and over. It's like, uh-oh. <laughs> I, I hope I don't try to call that bluff. It's a tough world, man. It's got to be hard to be a player. Can't wait for Deluxe. Pretty soon. That's why I play good games. You know what I'm saying? It's important to invest in good titles that reward skill and ability. By the way, I don't know if any of you saw or heard, <laughs> but I won Twitch Rivals. It's, I didn't watch Rivals. Did Tito carry? Please be honest. You want me to be honest, honest? Completely honest. Chat's not going to agree. I carried. And I'm not kidding. This music makes it sound like I'm kidding. The music makes it sound like I'm making a joke, and I know how it sounds. But um, I mean, I, I should just change the playlist. No, I mean it. I really think I did. Everybody contributed. Everybody contributed. I do agree. However, on a majority of the maps, I did carry. Because I was the fight guy. I'm, I'm a fighter in this game. I punch people. I was nice. I was bad at this, though. They had a preemptive. They had, like, a kickoff game. Yep, there's me in the cowboy suit. And I kind of got fucked up in these games. Tito saved us. These games I did not do well in. Um, I don't know why I didn't do well. I just... We almost won, but that was because of Tito. Coney, I just looked it up, and it says the devs are different. I heard they have a different name. Don't know if that's sure or not. I, I I thought the same thing. Apparently they might have rebranded. Maybe that's not true. I'm telling you something that I did not substantiate uh, at all. I wouldn't lie. I would just not tell the truth by omission. We need a Void, Coney, Smith, Super Team. Bro, I hit up Void. And he was like, I'm already on a different team. I was like, I'm going to regret that. Not a, I'm telling you, Party Animals is my game. Any game with a low skill ceiling in the first week is like, I am Mr. Early Game. I'm telling you, world's greatest. Dude, I want you to understand, I beat Boyd and Erob. That's world's greatest and second place world's great. Where's Erob? I beat his ass in this bar. Hold up. Throw his ass out the window. Hold on. Here we go. Here's me and E Rob. Try to get his ass to, and then I beat up TK for some reason. Get the fuck out of my bar, E Robert. Wait. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Freeze to death. <laughs> I love the fighting levels. 
The fighting games are so good. We played a hockey game against these same guys, and we got obliterated. We lost 4-0. It was so bad. <laughs> it was bad, bad. But every fighting game we won, which was nice. So, But yeah, we won. It was good. Um... I'm I'm happy I got invited. I found a good emote, although I'm not sure when anyone will use it. Then it's not Maybe. a good emote. Why would you, d dude? That's such a dumb thing to say. I found a good emote, but I don't know what use it's for. Then it's not good. We paint pretty pictures in this chat. No, no, dude. I hate the two memes anyway. Why can't you guys come up with your own shit? Why is everything a germa thing? We grade things here, A to F. It sucks. It's not good. Thank you for the five dollars. But we literally have this already. I gotta start banning people. I've really got. I need to thin the herd a little bit. I think. Maybe I stop being mean. I think I stop being mean to chat, so people are more likely <laughs> to talk. <laughs> I need you guys to pipe down. You're just cranky today. I think I've been too nice other days. You guys got to get a little less yappy. You know what I'm saying? Just me when I'm a first-time chatter. First-time chatters, if you chat right now, I will absolve you of anything you say. I will not ban you. Just get it out of your system so you won't piss me off later. If you're a first-time chatter, I swear to God, I will not ban you right now. Just get that first chat out so I won't ban you in the future. Just... Get that out of your system. Anybody? <laughs> it's not a trap. It's not a trap. Lurkers, now's your time. Catatonic Frost, hello. Thank you. <laughs> very, uh, very scared first message on that. You see that? Thank you, McFerry. Don't worry. It's not a trick. It's not a trick. Okay. This is how the IRS got Capone. Thank you, Piper's son. See, we're going to take it easy. We're good. Thanks, Bird J, for the prime. I'm not trying to trick you guys. I'm not. Hey, did you guys see this stream? Dude. Hold on. Here's the studio that made party animals. No, I know it's Recreate. But did they make gang beasts under a different name? Oh, they're China. Oh, maybe not. No connection. Then why did somebody tell... What the fuck ever? Is that where the $70,000 came from? No, that was probably Dunkin' Donuts and State Farm. Dude, okay. Can I ch talk shit on Twitch for a second? This made me so mad. Listen. Okay. Listen. I don't want to sound like a hater, right? Far be it for me to hate on anything. That's not really my vibe. But in the middle of the tournament, they had the Duncan Run Challenge, which is an Aim Labs map. And the idea is in the in, you have 60 seconds to get points. And if you get 55,000 or more points, you get 100 gifties. 75 gifties for that, blah, 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 goes all the way down. And it's the easiest fucking challenge you've ever seen. She got 82K. Huh? Where's my 100 gifties? It's my turn. Let me play. I want to shoot the donuts. You're just jealous. Yes. Yes, I am. And then, and then, and then. At the very end, they do an interview with all the players of the team. And they start, They went around the horn and they asked everybody a question. Some people got two questions. Do you know how many questions I got asked? Literally zero. Not a joke. Not a joke. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. They asked me not a single thing. It's my team. My name is on the fucking banner. I'm the Tom Brady here. Why are we talking to my supporting staff? 
no questions to be asked. Coney, how did you find this group of ragtag miscreants and put them together? It's like a bad news bearish situation. I had to get these dudes together and pick them up by their bootstraps. They can't trust you to talk. I was so mad. And then, and then, it doesn't even end there. The disrespect. Are you ready this? Watch this, watch this. Watch this. Are you ready? At the very end, they do the interview and they say, okay, Twitch Rivals is over. Who do we raid? How about the guy that won the tournament? Maybe we should raid the guy that won the tournament, right? Maybe that would be a good idea. They don't do that. Do you know what they do on Twitch Rivals? Hold on, let me see. They have... <laughs> they have... This. With all 64 competitors. And they wheel champ it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on. We've never had a talking dog. You guys ever think about that? Who actually could beg for treats? It's kind of weird, right? You would think that somebody would breed a talking dog. <laughs> Why are you scattering? Come back! Come back! What are you on? <laughs> I'm sorry. First time viewer. Hi, how's it going? I'm, I'm not kidding though. How have we not taught a dog to speak English? Even if it's only a couple words. And I know it sounds like I'm joking. I'm not. I don't know how we don't have that yet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm th but I'm serious though. But I'm not. I'm not kidding. Hey, um, check out this fucked up monkey. I saw Kyler tweet this photo, and I I just use it for everything now. I love him. I saw Kyler tweet this like a week ago, and I was like, damn, I'll take it out. Okay. <laughs> that monkey is dead ass me. No, he's me, bro. That's me. I'm the, I'm him. That's dead ass me, actually. That's me. Uh, did you guys see this shit? So TikTok streams are different. Um, this is currently going on on TikTok. There's a guy <laughs> who has a big knife and has spent three hours pretending like he's going to pop the balloon. For three hours, he's just gesturing at the balloon, which is amazing. This is, this is fantastic. But I think the best part of this is watching people slowly get wise. Watch the view count. <laughs> Goes up to 1.3. Oh, shit. 1.8, 1.9, 2K. Right? And then people are like, wait. His ass is not popping that balloon. <laughs> and they wait about an hour. He gets up for about 60 minutes. Right? And he's doing his best. He's trying to sell it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Wave 2 comes in. Everybody's like, damn, he might actually do this shit. This guy's crazy. And then... <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the chat. A lot of oranges. We're down to the 706. Oh, no. They know. There they go. Down in the triple digits. Just go... Boo! <laughs> That's tough. Visual representation of Cody's sub goal. That's not true. I've been working really hard at my sub goal, and that's why we're one away from 2750. If we can hit 2750, which is the sub goal, that would be huge. We're one away from it. 
I think when Mr. Beast dies, he should do something like this. I think he should have a balloon the size of a house. And it should say, this balloon pops at 100 viewers. And inside are the coordinates to his vast fortunes. You get what I'm saying? So when Mr. Beast dies, there, there's a big balloon with all of his money in, in like the coordinates of it. It's not One Piece. Shut up. No, it's not One Piece. The whole point of One Piece is go find it, I guess. This tells you where it is, but only when the stream goes to 100 viewers, which means you will be remembered forever. Think about your legacy. What about when you die? I, okay, I'll, I'll have a balloon the size of a house that'll have like $300 in a chest somewhere. This balloon pops when I hit 10 viewers. And then those 10 people see the balloon pop. Wait, that's a cool idea. I'm telling you, it's smart. Mr. Beast could do it too. And the party animals keychain. Did you guys see? <laughs> Somebody sent me this clip. Hold on. Somebody else up. This is this is us against E Rub's team. I'm, here. Not right, yeah, you should get him, I'm knocked out! Eric is helping me get this goose off of me, but Good shot, it, Eric. I... What's no, up? I'm gonna assist, shot. man! Go. Woo! Good shot, man, baby. fuck that TK Breezy oh. guy! What's up, baby? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> not actually fucking if we're on the stream. I'm just like talking shit. Like. Look at the pass yeah. and McKay knocking his ass out. Oh, <laughs> Alright, we let's go, let's go. Bro, it's crazy to use the real name. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that goose. Get that fucking dog out of here. Going for the government? <laughs> Actually, catch he's trying. He tried to undo it right away. He's like, I'm just talking shit. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. But for real. <laughs> but I feel him. You don't know what people are gonna do. People are gonna be weird about it. You're just in here to talk shit and just who cares? We're just playing. But some people will get mad. Crony, you suck ass at being a goalie. Uh, dude, this hockey game blows. Any of these sports games are bad, dude. They're not good games. Coney, look at this dog. <laughs> oh, is this dog gonna talk? That's a weird looking dog. All right. No, don't like that. You know I don't like that. I've said this before. Coney, real talking dog. It is not. I love you. I love you. Oh my god, we're really posting 2008 look at my silly dog content. What do you think? Do you think I'm Ray William Johnson? Is that what you think I- that's what this is? Equals three. What's happening for him? We have a dog that talks? <laughs> Cody, he explicitly told you what he wanted. Why are you ignoring him? I- that dog- I don't like that dog. I don't- I- I love these boards. I'm probably gonna get these boards for my dogs. Because the idea that you just put them down and the dogs instinctively know how to talk is so funny to me. Which is, I think, how most of this goes. Like, people think that it's like Ouija. Yeah, they think it's Ouija. Ouija? Ouija? Ouija. They think you just put it on the floor and the dog gets it. Is it Ouija? I don't like saying Ouija because I'm a Nintendo streamer and then everybody's gonna make the Luigi joke. Yep, there they go. 
Like the, the fucked up looking Luigi, the Ouija guy. <laughs> this is this is my favorite dog. This is the one talk I love this video so much. Oh no. Don't wolf. That that's a cool dog. That's a cool ass dog. That's a cool dog. I like him. <laughs> he said woof in bold. It was like bold and italics. Oh no. Don't woof. Woof. <laughs> I love that dog. That's a cool ass dog, bro. I love that dog. I bet the auto generate Oh, I was going to say if I auto generate captions, I know that shit's accurate. That shit's going to be dead on. It knows what he said. <laughs> dead on, bro. But it doesn't work. The There are no captions, sadly. <laughs> oh, that's a funny video. Is this really only three years ago? This was on React Wars. So, uh, quick update. You guys remember that uh, Mortal Kombat key that I've been waiting on? I wanted to I wanted to play Mortal Kombat and they were like, hey, we'll give you a free key. They hit me up and they're like, hey, you we have a Mortal Kombat key for you. And I'm like, okay, cool. And they said, Do you want PS5 or Xbox? I said Steam. And they're like, we don't have Steam. I'm like, can you put me on a wait list for Steam? Here we go! What about other animals that talk link? This better not be a fucking parrot. I was like, you can put me on a wait list for Steam. I was like, how long is the wait? They said, we don't know. But I have to sign like eight forms to get the key, which is like product provided by Warner Brothers. Hashtag ad. Hashtag sponsored. WB partner. I don't want to play Mortal Kombat that much. Dude, it's a free game. I'm not signing a blood contract. Better not be a parrot. I think that's a parrot. Yep, it's a parrot. Is that parrot scatting? Scatting means singing, but I don't want to get you to get confused because it's in a bathroom. Scatting means singing. Is that Skibidi Toilet? I love that parrot. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. I would flush him. Kind of scares me. Don't like that when he talks that much. Talking animal, not a parrot. Uh... What? Simulation of monkey speech? Wait, does that mean that's if a monkey could talk, that's what it would sound like because their voice box or whatever? Like that simulation? So you would have to listen in real close because they can't talk loud. So you have to get real close and they rip off your nose. Coney, I have a cat that could talk. No lie. You, yes, lie. Just take a quick look inside. Oh, my God. Bro, kids love this shit. Then we'll come back and watch the launch. Uh, do you think it's... Any movie that has has talking CGI animals is an instant classic. Never know how deep a puddle is until you jump in. Huh? Um... Do they send the dogs into the... In, to, to space? This is cruel. <laughs> Those dogs... <laughs> what the fuck is this? They have a whole Michelin... Okay, all right, sure, yeah. This is where your tax dollars go. Awesome, man. Sputnik moment. Imagine being this guy. Not like... 
the 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 character i mean like the actor right <laughs> actor in a movie where you send a family of dogs to space that might be me 30 years i don't know wait was that a ferret oh i didn't even see it it was like at the That was a ferret, yeah. I can't be excited to see ferrets anymore because they smell so bad. Ferrets are so cute, but they smell awful. And this cut why does this come up like once a stream? Hit it! Part at the end goes crazy. That part at the end, the vocalizations there? <laughs> the vibrato. God damn, dude. <laughs> he ate that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I tell the puppy you love him. I love him. Okay, that's pretty good. Because he didn't just say, tell the puppy. He didn't just repeat her. He he understood her request and then did it back. I love you. Oh, my God. Doesn't even have lips. Do you need lips? I love. Yeah, love. I love you. No, you don't need lips for love. I love you. Lie you. If you hit it hard enough. Lie you. Yeah. B and P. Well, also M. Uh, oh, you can do N. And, uh, no. Probably says I love you a lot, so yeah. Uh, cute dog. I love you. <laughs> Animals scare the shit out of me, bro. They fucking, this beak made for opening nuts. It's a bird. It's still scary, man. Play the scat bird again. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> Don't gotta ask me twice. <laughs> so, uh, real quick. You guys remember when we were picking the shitty bootleg systems that we're gonna play soon? You remember the penguin, right? The powers, uh, power zone, the penguin guy from 2010 or whatever? I went to go buy this uh, for $40, and it wasn't working. I kept trying to go to PayPal, and it was, like, not working. I'm like, what the fuck? Why isn't it working? And then I realized at the bottom of the page, last updated, April 9th, 2012. This isn't just that page. This is the whole site. That's the entire site. Now, I was like, oh... That's probably fine. It just means that my orders didn't go through. Until then, <laughs> I checked my email and I saw this. <laughs> Every time I hit the PayPal button, it processed an order. I've now ordered five of those the, the fucking, the penguin guys. And you didn't check? No, I didn't check. Every time I hit the PayPal thing, it was like something went wrong. And I'm like, oh, well. Something went wrong. It's not on me. I didn't do anything wrong. So, now I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get those. I don't think I got charged. Let me see if I got charged for them. Because I never looked. If I have five identical charges for, what was it, 80 bucks or whatever, 40, yeah. No, I never got charged. I'd be mad as hell. You are not getting those items or your money back. <laughs> I tried to find another place to buy this. The only other spot was eBay, and it was like $100. With no refunds. And I'm like... Tch. 
bro, I spent two hundred dollars. I didn't check if he got charged, rich ass. No, I mean, if I got charged, I would have just asked for the money back. I got time to spend on the phone with PayPal. Give me that shit back. However, I will say, I went to... So, Mal and I went to Spirit Halloween. And, uh... You know, we were just walking around. We didn't get anything. Juliet wants to be Jasmine. But we were looking for outdoor shit. And I saw this. Hold on. He's gotta be on here. Uh... Is there another page? Two pages. Is he on here? Damn, he's not here. Oh, little F? Sorry. Wait, really? I'm not seeing it. Am I still... I'm still here, right? Tiny F. Tiny L okay, little one. Okay. Hold on. Alright, I can't find it. Dude, it's gotta be somewhere. This guy. Yes. Imagine this shit right behind me. I, 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 I. We're doing Mr. Krabs. I, 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 I. <laughs> kind of the same. Shit kinda scary, bro. He looks around and shit. If you if you step on in his way, he does something too. <laughs> Juliet is gonna be scared. Oh no, she was scared of this. Hold on. <laughs> she, there are a couple other animatronic. Hold on, clown animatronic <laughs> spirit. Uh, the one she saw was. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. It was on the site. Damn, bro. Why is it so hard to find? Spirit Halloween animatronics here. She was afraid. Oh, she saw this one. Yeah! She did get Link scared to death of this one. Right here. This one scared the shit out of her. <laughs> because I was going around and I was hitting the button on a lot of them. Um, and, like, you know, she would, like, stand behind uh, her mom. She would stand behind Mallory. And then uh, she would, like, you know, peek out, and we would tell her, oh, it's okay. But this one did this. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't know it yelled and, like, jumped down. So she got kind of scared of that. And unrelated, she woke up, like, screaming today and last night and uh, at, like, 11 last night for some reason. Don't know why. Why this too annoying kid? I didn't traumatize my kid. I think she's okay. I think. I mean, who knows, right? Uh, she can't. Yeah, she doesn't know. Yet. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Also, Eddie's fucked up. He's sick. I've tried so many times to get that other eye going, and he's he's hurt. You see the tape right there? I spent twenty minutes trying to get that to work. What if that's her first memory? I'll feel really bad. The thing is, she was mostly cool. Like, she was fine with all of them. We would tell them that they were being silly, and she was okay, so we didn't think she had anything to be afraid of. She also saw this one, and she stood really far back. She wanted us to do this one. She thought this was funny. Because he's laughing, so everything's okay. <laughs> she thought that one was silly, right? Um, because he's laughing. <laughs> but he's not screaming. But I also feel like, hold on. I don't know how to search for this. I searched uh, white people Halloween decorations. Yeah, right? Like the pumpkins and the hay on the front yard. And like, the, I don't know how to describe this. Like there's there's a certain type of like this, but without the cobwebs. Like a very classy, 
like a mums, you know what I mean? Like that kind of shit is all like this. This is too safe, right? So I'm trying to find something between, you know, absolute horror <laughs> that's going to fuck up uh, kids' nightmares and this shit, which is just, you know, uh, kind of safe. It's got to be a middle ground, right? Just go with lights. Oh, come on, man. This is kind of cool. I like that. Maybe I'll have a haunted tree. Coney Sam's Club decorations? Maybe that's it. Coney wants kids to cry and piss and shit. I just said that's not what I want. Otherwise, I would buy this. Darling Dolly. <laughs> I'm going to lose viewers if I play this again. <laughs> did I show you guys the Home Depot skeleton? I think I did, but I'm going to show you again. Every time I go to Home Depot, there's a big-ass skeleton there staring right at me. Life eyes, right there. Look at him. <laughs> 12 feet tall. Myth has risen. Now, the best thing about this, you could decorate him all year long. He could be Uncle Sam. He could be Santa. He could be the, the bunny. Right? This shit keeps giving. Make him pretty with back. flowers. Make him the May Queen. Yeah, Everyone's my friend bought that, and it's Bowie legit awesome. Bain He's so big. Has risen from He's the fucking grave huge. Once more. Why? He has life. Ready <laughs> for another All Hallows Eve. Why, dude? Full of frights that will shake you down to the marrow. Why? The centerpiece of even the most towering displays. The 12-foot giant skeleton scale alone is enough to scare you out of your skull. I might get the 12-foot giant skeleton. Regardless of anything else we get, I might get that. When assembled, it stands more than a single story tall, many times the size of your trick-or-treaters. Well, hold on. He's not that tall. It's detailed He's a like little over two of me. those of the living. Once activated... It's He's LED. not three times as tall as me. He's not three conies tall. He lit eyes open to the world, blinking and moving as if possessed, searching for something deep in the darkness. What on earth could this colossal carcass desire? <laughs> Whoa, Skelly. Don't get your bones in a What bunch. does he want? Actually, I never really thought of that, but now I'm curious. There are plenty Skin? of bite-sized bodies to go around. Happy Halloween. Thank you. How much is he? Dude, it's only $300. What a fucking steal. Unironically, that's not that... Oh, it's out of stock. Fuck. I know it's at the store, but I don't know. Assembly time, 60 minutes. You gotta put the bones together? You gonna be a fucking doctor? What are you talking about? Why can't it? Is it not just three pieces? 60 minutes to put that shit together. Me looking for the femur. That's funny. That's good. Love that, man. Unironically love that. Did you guys know that um, Spirit has Fall Guys costumes? And they're like inflatable ones. <clears throat> they're awesome. They're really cool. They like, they, they go all the way up and they're huge. They're great. Yeah, I was shocked, dude. They look so good. Look at this. They even have a big heatus. <laughs> My neighbor back at home put the giant skeleton up for Halloween 2021 and have had it standing <laughs> exactly. there since. That's what I'm talking they about. They even decorated for the different That's seasons. amazing. Recently, they put swimming trunks and a visor on it. That's Great so cool. Great convo starter for me and dad. That's amazing. They also have Among Us costumes. I have seen those, yeah. I, I, honestly, this is sick. 
One thing that I thought was funny is, let me see if it's on here. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I don't know why this was funny to me. Maybe this won't be as funny to you. But they have gizmo costumes, right? And for some reason, they have normal gizmo costumes, but they also have an inflatable gizmo costume. And for some reason, I thought it'd be very funny to have... To, to, for me and my wife to be inflatable gizmos, and then our daughter is a normal gizmo. I don't know why I thought that was funny. <laughs> it's, it's just three. Like, why not the same outfits? They clearly have them. I thought something about that would be funny. A plus bit? I don't think it's A plus. I just thought there'd be something funny there. Tata Banjo gizmos too. If they have dog, oh, dog gizmos. Just a full family of gizmos. I don't know why that's funny to me. It's a it's a C. It's not a it's not a home run bit, but I think it's funny. I don't know why Gizmos in such high demand, dude. Here's someone as, uh, assembling the skeleton. Good lord, dude. Reach this. You actually thankfully. do it to put the bones together. But he's gonna. Why is this a Home Depot exclusive item? Everybody says it's from Home Depot. Everybody knows where you got that shit. What we're gonna do. It's a full family outing. Now it's really low. It's a lot easier with more than oh one person. God. Don't put him in the backyard. There it's way is. scarier there. He's looking into the and that's sun's it. That's room. All there is to it. The only thing. Oh my God! What we have dude. left to do is just plug in his electronics in the back. Yeah, that's it. He's ready to go. So he sure there's is. Beauty and simplicity. No and way! Does he really light up too? I didn't know that. Skeleton, without a lot of accessories and flair, just works. I want him more now. I'm not kidding. I like that. Inside my son's bedroom windows up there. Okay, he made the same bit I did. That's fun. Oh, I want one. I want one. RGB Skelly. Yeah. That's great. That's good. Hold on. Somebody sent me another talking animal. This better not be a bird. A cat talking? Now I've seen everything. Bro. I wish I could ban you. Give him... Oh, wait. You put your name in the tip. Keon! Take the night off. <laughs> Take a break. You don't have to come in tonight. If if I could give you one word of wisdom, never, ever, ever. Did anybody see? You guys know I love stand-up, right? Did anybody see this clip of Jimmy Carr? What the fuck is this? What was he doing, dude? No. Okay. So if you guys don't know who Jimmy Carr is, he's a British comedian. He's very funny. But... He, he's extremely funny, but he w he came around or got really popular in, like, the mid-2000s when, like, I don't know, like, the Dane Cook, um, what's that one guy's name? The, the offensive guy, Josh. He had a fucking show on Comedy Central. Do you know who I'm talking about? Daniel Tosh. That's it. Yes, yeah, sorry. Daniel, Daniel Tosh, Dane Cook, like, really offensive shit. Like, the progenitor to Anthony Jeselnik, right? So he came around. He was very funny. He's a very funny guy, right? Um, but he he put up this video as, like, the time I told a 9-11 joke to a room full of Americans. Like, oh, good heavens. Like, the monocle's going to drop on the T, right? Um, and, and this clip is, like, and I'm not going to show it to you because it's not, I'm not going to sit here for three minutes. But, like, it starts off with, like, Two minutes of, like, you can't say anything anymore. Can't make any jokes. I might get canceled. And then he tells a 9-11 joke. And he's like, dude, uh, like, what? that's over 20 years ago. Nobody's, it's, it was so bizarre, man. But, 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 I think it is extremely funny if, as Jenny Nicholson had said, if this is, like, a meta bit, if he goes on for, like, three minutes about how you're not allowed to make these jokes, and then he just gives, like, the most milquetoast, bland, easy, low-hanging jokes ever, that's extremely funny. But I don't think that's what he's doing. 
drinking. I'll tell you why it's great to be here. I'm drinking my friends in the last chance. Surely leave. that's too much what credit. What I'm saying yeah. on stage tonight is barely acceptable now. In 10 years time, fucking forget about it. You're going to be able to tell your grandchildren about seeing this show. Yeah. You will say, I saw a man and he stood on stage and he made light of serious situations. We used to call them jokes. When was the last truly good comedian? Uh, Nate Bargatze is pretty new and he's good. He's like really new, I think, or relatively new, but. I mean, Mulaney's great, but Mulaney's been around for a while. Everybody knows Mulaney. Bill Burr? Bill Burr has been around forever. He's not new. You can't say Bill Burr, right? Nick Millions? Is that a real name? I think you made that up. I miss George Carlin. I've... Yeah! <laughs> you know what else was over like 20 years ago, Coney? What? Columbine. <laughs> it sure was. I don't know why. <laughs> yep, you're right. Too many podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a podcast thing. Maybe stand-up comedy is outdated now. Actually, maybe. I mean, maybe podcasting is the new wave, unironically. I think there will always be a market for it, but, you know. Yeah, Theo Vaughn's huge now from podcast shit. Is new guy who's really popular on TikTok. I'm hey, I'm happy with anybody that gets big, right? But uh, it's it's weird to see. I don't know. Jimmy Carr's funny. What's he doing here? And people would laugh. Like I don't. Th this is so weird because sometimes I'll see like comedians and it's like they're doing their like easy low hanging shit to please the crowd, right? It's just like you're doing. The low hanging, like simplest thing to pop people, and that's fine. You're allowed to do that, but why put it out? Why put it on Netflix and promo with it? Maybe to drive engagement, but I, I feel like it's just. And your grandchildren will ask. They'll say, "Non-binary elder." <laughs> Non-binary elder. What's a joke? And you'll say. You are. <laughs> what are we doing here, man? <laughs> what are we... I don't get it, man. Like, I don't... Uh, but he's like, he's all like one-liners. Like I said, like an Anthony Jeselnik type. But he's funny. He's legitimately funny, or he used to be. Um, I'm sure he still is. It's just, it's a weird thing to watch. Like... Big comedians aren't funny because they have to pander to be universally funny. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true at all. No. You could be a big comedian and still be funny. I think it's just easiest to do, like, I've talked about this before, but, like, you know, Bill Burr is really popular, right? Bill Burr is funny, but I was like, all right, let me check out his latest special. And it's just he's talking about cancel culture for 20 minutes. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up, man. Oh, my God. But you listen to his other stuff. It's great. It's just like, ugh. Do the line. <laughs> you want me to do my Bill Burr impression? Stop. I don't want to do my Bill Burr impression. He's funny, man. Could you do stand-up? I've wanted to. I have a... I have a tight 10 I've written down. I've done it before, but only at open mics, and it was fine. I didn't really like doing it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it like I thought I would. Even John Mulaney is weird now. No, John's fun. John Mulaney is good. I actually went to go see his stuff in person, but it annoyed me because he spent so long on rehab. He talked about rehab for so goddamn long, and I know that that's, like, what people came to see, and that's what he's been going through, and I get that. That's fine. But literally, it was, like, an hour, and, like, 25 minutes were about rehab. It's like, dude, we paid to be a therapist. I mean, like, I don't, you know, I, I get it, right? You, you write about what you know and what's going on, and he's very funny, but rehab was supposed to be a fresh start. 
like drug rehab. Yeah, he went on a he he apparently went on like a crazy like coke bender, and he was with his wife for a long time, and he left his wife to be with Olivia Munn, had a baby with Olivia Munn, left Olivia Munn, or she left him, and now they're having the baby, and his longtime girlfriend is like, or you know, ex wife is like, what the fuck. But apparently there's more to it than that. But yeah, apparently he was like on some really bad shit. So, he's been addicted to coke and alcohol for a long time. Yeah. Celebrities, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> the Pete Davidson Al Pacino joke was excellent live. It's great, but it went on too long. It's a great joke, but it's like, you know, I I thought it was a little belabored. But it's good. <clears throat> All I'm saying is that comedians should make jokes about Rusty Bucket Bay. Bro, I've been waiting for that. Gotta start talking about what the people want to hear, you know what I'm saying? Like Little sailors in Rusty Bucket Bay. Why ain't nobody got any bits about that, man? How they say, ahoy? <laughs> the joke is ass-ass. No, it's not, man. That's why I don't want to leak my bleach joke, bro. Somebody's gonna take it. Somebody gotta take my bleach joke. That shit's funny, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> it is, man. We already know the bleach joke. It's funny! I just need to find the right setup of the punchline. It's hard to set up. It's it's very intricate to set up, and it'll, it dies if you don't tell it right. It's a good fucking joke, man. What's the bleach joke? I'm not t Oh, wait, my door's open. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hi, <laughs> sweet. You tried to... <laughs> Did you guys see her come in? She came in, and now she's crawling on the floor like a snake. You guys saw her come in? Okay. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Ahoy. Ahoy, yeah. Like the little guys in Rusty Bucket Bay, you know? Yep. Ahoy. She found my little Popeye. My daughter loves this. I got it like a decade ago. I forgot I had him. She loves this. Hi, sweetie. Nice try. Okay. It felt colder in here. That's how I knew. So. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. How'd the show go? Good. Yeah. yeah. Everybody say bye, Mal. <laughs> I love you. Guys can't they didn't. They didn't spoil it. I heard you. Yeah. That was your fault. They didn't do that. You know what? What? No, no, you don't want that. Oh, my God, that's a crazy thing to say, what you just said. Did you guys hear that? I hope you didn't hear that. Did you hear what she said? No, I don't want them to hear that. I'm going to repeat it. Close them now. Close your, close your, I mean, your, close your, okay, never mind. What did she say? I'm gonna I'm gonna explain. Wait, no, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell them what you said. Out of context, yes, I see. Yes, you, yes, you get it. You get what I'm saying. Can yes. You hear my idea? No, I don't. It's that's silly. Okay. Love you. Good night. She was like, "You should tell them to DM me funny ideas to do and bits to do behind you." And I was like, "Don't know." Do not solicit DMs from. Do you want my chat to DM you things to do? What does that mean? Pranks. pranks. Funny pranks on me. I don't want it. Thank you, sweetie. I think that's a bad idea, and I think you should go close your DMs right now. Okay. All right, you go, you go, you go do that. You have some work to do. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Why did she say that? Don't. Tell her to use the Coney subreddit for that. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Coney subreddit. Bumping and jumping. Mm-hmm. Always popping with the latest gossip. Coney is a comedy elitist. A little. I like funny stuff and don't like not funny stuff. 
I hate that true gets priority over truing. Dude, that true emote is very funny. <laughs> Somebody popped that the other day, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, that rules. I don't know why it's funny to me. It, I think it's the ellipsis. The ellipsis makes it very funny. It's really good. What's the, um, somebody in the Discord had an emote of me with shifty eyes. That was kind of funny. I saw that. Kony, you made the bleach joke. I'm not sure if you like funny things. No, I. it was very funny. It's a good, it's a very good joke. Hey, uh, quick heads up. Ad coming right now. I dropped a couple snoozies. Can't drop any more. Subscribe with Twitch Prime or Tier 1 sub. Holy shit, that decay. I was at 2750 about 15 ah! minutes ago, and now look at us. Help me out. Give Twitch Prime or Tier 1, for the love of God. PG. It's September. This was supposed to be my month. It's September. Drop it right now, please. <laughs> or else. Hold on, I'll play the song. Well, now it's too late. You just won Twitch Rivals, though. That doesn't... Sorry, it felt cold in here. I thought she opened the door again. I'll just leave? <laughs> no, 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 no. But you're going to miss what, what what comes after the S. Don't leave. Don't leave. You're going to miss it, and you're going to be so sad. Don't just leave. Don't just do that. <laughs> First time chatter with a legitimate threat. I'll just leave. Us. <laughs> Holy shit. Never saw anybody just call the bluff like that. Okay. Where's the song, bro? Bro, I'm looking for the song. It's too late now anyway. <laughs> but now I want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I'm the best! Tony, Banjo-Tooie is just as good as Banjo-Kazooie. Level design is better in the Shut sequel. Shut up. Chatter. <laughs> why did you... Why are you trying to bait me with that? Here it is. Eight ads, I was expecting like three. Oh, hell no. We farm in this bitch. What are they saying? What is that? Not the song after I already had the ad. You could imagine that hell. You see the ads and then you immediately get dumped back into the ad song. It's not over. Okay. Uh Can ye? Hey Coney, as you know, I am always on the lookout for up and coming talent, and I really, really think you've got something special here with mm -hmm. your bleach joke and rusty bucket bay joke. Thanks. Contact me. I want you on my podcast, ASAP. Hey, you know, I think I'm good. I think I'm good, yay. Thanks for the uh thanks for the offer. Uh, I, I think $5 is a little low for you, multi-millionaire Kanye West. Um, I don't know how much the alimony and child support are, but I, I think you could stand to help me out a little bit more than that. I do have an appearance fee, so sorry. Coney, can we play Pikmin 2? No. Why do you guys always want Pikmin 2? I'm so sick of that. I don't even like Pikmin 2. He lost 90% of his net worth last year. That is not true. 90%, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm probably going to I'm not watching this whole thing right now uh cuz I, I I'll, maybe I'll watch it later if people want to see it. But I've been on a kick lately of gaming in the Clinton years. I don't know why. Donkey Kong Country is truly perfect. If you do not get this amazing new generation of Donkey Kong madness, you are stupid. Yes, I know, that's insulting, but it's also the truth. Dude. So which will it be? PlayStation? Jack Why is he so confident with everything that he is, says? None of the above. 
there's another advanced gaming system that will win the war, and it's Virtual Boy, the 32-bit, $180 He's so confident. reality gaming system from Nintendo. We think the PlayStation will get second place, then yeah. Saturn, then Jaguar CD, and then M2. Oh, it didn't come out. Yeah, poor Eddie. He's, uh, oh my god, the eye flipped. I didn't even see the eye. Oh my god, it's shut now. Before it was, like, low, now it's just out. <laughs> poor Eddie. Speaking of pizza, you can play the game with your left hand and eat pizza in the other, since the game can be controlled with the L button, which lets you talk and check. You might get so mad at Toy Story that you may want to slam Doom into your Super NES and take out your just... anger by shooting a bunch of evil aliens. Then again, Doom is an extremely difficult game, so it might just make the problem worse. Super Mario Kart. Poor ending. Buster Buddy. I love these. I, I can't stop watching these. I, I had a kick for uh, gaming in the Clinton years, like a few years ago, but I didn't watch the no context ones. I might I might come back to these later. I love these so much. Okay. But first, fellas, guess what? Hi, Coney. It's your uh, friend, the dev from Gotham Knights. I worked on Mortal Kombat. What are your thoughts? <laughs> hey. Uh, it, they're not bad. They're not bad. It, I think they're going to seem ah! like they're bad. Wait, am I out? Am I, why does it say check your connection? Huh? Am I here? Huh? Hello? Oh, my God. Am I getting the... Wait. Wait, is it the DNS? No way I'm getting DNS'd. Dude. Wait. Hold on, let me fix this TTS issue. What is this? Let me try again. Dude, am I actually DNS'd right now? Dude, I'm DNS'd! I'm actually fucking DNS'd! What happened? What's hap- Why am I still on life? How does that happen? What does that mean? So, for some reason, watch this. For some reason, any site I go to, it says uh, DNS problem or DNS issue or something like that. And if I restart, it works. But everything else is dead. It says I'm offline, which doesn't make sense because I'm literally talking to you right now. This happened to me a few streams ago. Oh, wait. Nope. Dude, what? How do I DNS? This is new. This bit again. It's not a bit! Reset router. I don't want to reset my router! Resetting router, like, halves my viewers. Everybody leaves! And I was going to do a bounty! Oh, my God. Hold on. Maybe if I troubleshoot problems. Don't look, okay? <laughs> if something gets le hold on, I gotta go here. I'm going like I've gotta go to here. Hold on. Wait. Troubleshooting could not identify the problem. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Log into your router and change the DNS to one one. Oh my god. How do I change the DNS? This is ridiculous. I only can do this from you guys. I can I don't have any help. DNS probe finished bag config. What the fuck does that mean? What? I'm on my phone. Hold on. Okay. Wait. 
<laughs> it's so annoying. Wait, do I still have my my music tab open? No. Oh, there's not even any music. Now <laughs> unplug the internet. Oh, that was the good prank. That was the funny prank that she played. <laughs> good one. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I have this open. Uh, okay. But what do I change the DNS to? Internet Protocol 4. Okay. And then I hit Properties. Okay. Obtain DNS server automatically. Do I, I change it to 1111? Okay. Wait. Engage. I did it. Oh my god, it worked. Ho! Oh! God bless you. God bless you all. God bless chat. We all did it together. Live tech support. W stream. Thank you, everybody. And let's celebrate with a Twitch Prime! Twitch Prime, everybody! Use them now! Let's celebrate. We're back. Hooray! Plus two. Wasn't that a good bit? Wasn't that so funny? Wasn't that so funny, you guys? Oh, my God. How my stream died and I couldn't get it back. That's so weird. I don't know what causes that. Um. Yeah. Hold on, let me run this again. Yes! TTS should work now, right? I wonder if it's a TTS thing. No, that shit's just dead. My reaction to Banjo and Smash, I don't... Was I streaming? I don't think I was streaming. I think I was at work that day. No, I didn't stream it. Coney, the bounty better be Liza P. I missed it again. The Liza P came up, but I missed it. It's something else. <laughs> what was your job? I was a um, web dev for a big insurance company. I felt things, though. I was so happy. And then he was dog shit. You're missing out on the Liza P train? There's not a train, bro. Come on. train <laughs> you thought I wouldn't notice lol funny good one look up the views on twitch that's not how my channel works this is not a gameplay stream on this stream we watch YouTube videos and guess what there's a brand new one guess who it's from it's our good friend Carlito we love Carlito that's our boy, and he uploaded yesterday, and I dropped a like, and I didn't even watch it because I knew that I would love it because I love Carlito, and I'm going to enjoy this movie with you all right now. These are the rarest Nintendo consoles, shall we? Different Nintendo Switches. Been playing Liza P, and it's so good. It's very good. I'm on chapter like four or five. Listen, if you guys are good, maybe I'll pop a Liza P later. Actually, that's not true. I have a different bounty. Let's say I presented you with two different Nintendo Switches. One is just the basic gray normal Switch, and the other one is made out of mercury and has Joy-Cons that are shaped like Mewtwo. I still want the normal one. <laughs> I know what you're going to say, Curlito. I know what you're going to say, but I have a kid, which is very dangerous, and also that does not look ergonomic. Now, which one would you want more? The left That's one right, still. you probably picked the one made out of mercury. No. Even though it would no. probably kill you, it looks really cool, so it's worth it. No, it doesn't look really cool, actually. It looks painful to hold. You could have used a better metaphor here. That's kind of what limited edition consoles are. Just prettier looking consoles. Is that real? A PS... A, that's not real. <laughs> Need that <laughs> fucking Domino's Malaysia PS5 Pizza S5? Mm. You're a marketer. You got a knack for this, man. 
They don't really do anything different from the normal console, but they are still so cool. <laughs> I never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I think that one's more my speed. I think that one's a little bit better. This is a lot more uh, obnoxious. Cool. I feel like everyone has a respect for these things to some degree, but everyone knows about limited edition consoles, uh. so I wanted to look at it at a deeper level. I wanted to find out what are the absolute rarest Nintendo consoles in history. Damn, big family games? With that shitty chrome paint job? That I think that's just like... It looks like a normal Wii remote, but like with a very thin shell on it. History. Consoles so rare that only a handful of people in the entire world own them. I searched through every generation of Nintendo's consoles to see which ones are the rarest. The Queen's so, Wii. So, here are the absolute Montezuma's rarest Wii. Nintendo consoles. You definitely would get that Wii after going, trekking through the Aztec for like 30 Oops. days. Starting from Find that in an ancient here. temple, yeah. I'm starting with the Game Boy because it's probably the best ah! first example of some- Yes. You are streaming E3 2019. Follow the breadcrumbs to Banjo. Uh, Here's one Link example, Link. Chat, I, I think if I did have a reaction to Banjo, you guys would know about it. Like, you guys would have seen it and heard it. If nobody here remembers it, I didn't do it. Right? I don't think that happened. Coney lost media. I did, I mean, I did, uh, I did tweet about it, but I think I was at work that day. I would have remembered it. Some really cool and rare limited edition consoles. Very few people were here five years ago. A uh, couple of them. Consoles. The NES and SNES had some stuff, but with Nintendo's first handhelds, they- There are tons of Coney Lost Media, that is true. Really encouraged having your own distinct looking console. With a bunch of different colors to choose from and even stickers of all things. Oh my god, ew. That people still do this, right? To make your Game Boy it's look gross. cooler. I'd honestly say this is where real custom consoles started. Sure, stickers aren't fully fledged custom consoles, but the spirit was there, which was a start for limited edition consoles. You still can pay a bunch of money for like a sticker on your PS5 controller, and you have to put it on just right, and it never goes on right, and it's going to be a little bit tilted. And then if you try to peel it off, it's going to come off in pieces. It's bad. Nintendo clearly wanted Not to embrace good. this idea of how do we make this thing look gas? So in the 27th issue of Nintendo Power... Damn, that Mr. Wiley... Mr. Wiley. That Dr. Wiley looks crazy. I'd watch a whole movie of that. Stop motion, Mega Man? A little contest was announced. My bad, I gotta respect him. He went to college. Calling all proud Game Boy owners to draw their own sick design onto this little template. And Nintendo would look at the coolest submissions and actually manufacture real consoles That's based on, on the coolest designs. And then give these <laughs> consoles to the people who submitted that design. It was a really cool contest, That's I won't neat. lie. Countless designs were submitted. I bet they were ugly, Only a few though. were made into actual These Game things are probably gross. Here they are. Oh my god. These were all made into real Game Boys, uh, and they're pretty elusive. We have a picture of this one, but that's it. The other two aren't even documented online. And who even knows what the hell could have happened to these things? Like, they're probably yeah. long fucking gone by now. Wait, did they come with the, the handles, though? Those are kind of comfy, actually. I really wanted to see how this one would have even looked in yeah. real life, but again, Bro. who knows what happened to these Me and Carlito, same fucking wavelength. All the time. That's my boy. Every time. I want to see what that looks like. It's like a, it's, it's like an early Switch. Things, they're fucked. Please. There were actually more Game Boys made from this contest, though. The runner-ups from the contest fucked. I never realized how big Naughty is there on were this. That's a big-ass beaver, dude. What would you do if you saw a beaver that big? Be honest. Don't say die. You can't die. You can't. There were actually more Game Boys made from this contest, You can't though. die. You can't. He's very weak. You just cartwheel into him and he'll die. Spin it around by the tail. It's not easy to grab a beaver tail. Don't say that. He's going to slip out. They pat water all day. Oh. Don't the do that. The runner-ups from the contest would each get their own custom Game Boys as well. But the twist here is it wouldn't actually be based off of the design they submitted. Instead, Nintendo made these three designs in advance for the runner-ups to have if they, you know, runner-upped. So even though Betsy didn't get their dream... If they, wait, what did he mean by that? Panda Game Boy, they still got one of these three custom consoles that we actually do have pictures okay. of. And they do look pretty cool. Not that one, though. <laughs> I don't know how you hit those buttons. This one's kind of cool. No, it doesn't look comfortable. No, these are all dog shit. I hate the Game Boy. I think the Game Boy is a piece of shit. 
The six Game Boys made from this contest were all one of a kind. I think I they just don't like the Game Boy. Produced. No matter don't don't make that face at me when you guys call me old every other stream constantly and now we're pretending like we have respect for old technology. You don't give a shit. This is a bad system. Oh my god, you're supposed to like it. Like, why are you guys doing this? Why are you defending Nintendo's honor? If you won this contest, Game Boy is not old. It's from 1989, I think. Or if you were. Or at 90? 89. Yup, dead on. See? I found I accidentally made a clip of Nintendo's conference at E3 2019, but it's not the banjo reveal. Oh, no more Heroes 3? Yeah, that's not bad. Wait, is this? Wait. You have the banjo things there. Wait. So I was streaming it. I will say any reaction you find is probably not a good one because I did get spoiled. I got told that it was, like, you know, I had leaks. Compare hairline. I actually, it's not, I thought that it was way worse now. It's not. I watched a video of mine from, like, two years ago on YouTube, and it was just as bad. It's just stuck like this. It's just a bad hairline stuck. That's it. I miss Factor Opinion. It's coming back soon. Oh, you said Factor Fiction. Oh, well, too bad. Factor Opinion is coming back soon. <laughs> I'm going to do it once every three months, I think. Just because it's fun to talk and argue. Factor Fiction apparently is getting translated to English, and we're going to have it at some point, and we're all going to watch that. So, that will be happening. Runner-up, you still got your own exclusive one-of-a-kind Game Boy, which is honestly still a win regardless. No, Game Boy is gross. Now, these are genuinely cool-looking consoles. But honestly, a lot of the rarest Game Boys aren't even that cool looking. They just, like, maybe have some I words on it sometimes. Bro, can we just get off the Game Boy, Carlito? Let's wrap it up, man. It was maybe a small logo. A they shitty were in the mood for it. That's all they really are. When you said, the like, all rare Nintendo consoles, I mean, they are I didn't still rare, so I'll at least show them. Like, but most of them aren't really worth talking about. Oh, that one's kind of cool, though. I bet this shit is expensive. Talking about, because you can summarize them in a sentence. The idea of custom consoles was still pretty new, so it's kind of to be expected, I guess. But there are some random bangers in these simple ones, I can't lie. Like the Backstreet Boys Game Boy. <laughs> the Backstreet Boys apparently did a tour in Japan. Awesome. They gave away a Game Boy. And dude, you just can't comprehend how much I respect that concept. What is this at the bottom? Sneaky Evil? I can't read that. Can people just start making Game Boys red. for random garbage? And only Game Boys? Maybe if you like bowl a perfect game at your local bowling place, you get a custom Game Boy. Maybe <laughs> mod it to make the startup animation to be one of those videos that play when you get a strike or some bullshit. Oh, that's a cool Either I'm dumb as like hell that. or like this has insane potential and nobody's doing it. That's all I got for the original. So you use a Game Boy like a keychain, like a nice little bit of swag if you accomplish a real life achievement. No yeah, Game Boy though. Bad. But I mean, we're not done with rare consoles for no, at least a not, little while. No more Game you know, Trust me on that one. Carly, and because I know I'm going to get comments about this, no, this does not count. Game Boy damaged in Gulf War. This Game Boy was damaged when barracks were bombed during the 1990-1991 Gulf War. It still works. This better not count. I don't think Nintendo planned that. Nintendo <laughs> planned a special edition, once-in-a-lifetime Game Boy. Hit this house. And I'm just going to say this Jeez, as a general Miyamoto, rule relax. going forward. If the console wasn't custom made by a company, then it's not going to be on this list, What bro. did they know? <laughs> like, technically, this would be a rare console, yeah. But that opens up... What, they planned what? The Gulf War. A whole other can of worms. And I don't think they planned that. It's just not console at the end of the day. Same with, like, prototype consoles. It still works, bat chest. I think that's pretty bat chestable. I think if a fucking warhead goes off and your console still works, I would bat chest. That's cool. So those are always going to be rare because they were never meant to be given by the That's public. That's allowed to, All right, to happen. All uh, right, Game Boy Color. It's the Game Boy, but it now has color. There's a couple bangers on this one. Like the German Club Nintendo Ooh. Ocarina of Time. That shit looks like it could kill someone. It looks like... Why is that my first thought? It looks like it's made out of marble. Like in a murder mystery thing. It looks heavy. You know what I mean? I don't know why I thought... It, it looks like a mar marble statue that would you would use... In like a murder mystery, like a Knives Out or a Clue thing. 
Why is that where my brain went? I don't know. I associate the marble texture with uh, with with homicide, I guess. I'm Game Boy. Shit looks substantial. Yeah. The color. It looks pretty cool. There were apparently eleven of evidence in a point and click. Yeah. These things made. They were given away in some sort of sweepstake to people who had the magazine back in the day. But there's a variant of this Game Boy that's even <laughs> rarer. Coney is an Ace Attorney antagonist. The Black Zelda Game Boy. This one is pretty elusive. No. It's not even fully known how many exist, Kinda but it's ugly. said to be three total. It was given away in the same sweepstakes, but there's like way less information on this one out there. Not good. This is a mysterious and pretty badass looking console. No. Now on the topic of badass, Carly. the orange. I call him Carly. We're friends. Soda Game Boy. And you Ooh. thought I was stupid for suggesting a bowling Game Boy when they made one for orange soda. If you drank this specific brand of orange soda and for some reason looked underneath the bottle cap and saw that there was an S underneath the cap, you just earned yourself an orange soda Game Boy. <laughs> now, Slam okay. is a really cool name, yeah. but there's actually layers to this. Okay. The original name of the brand is actually called Marinda. Slam is what it's called in Italy, and only Italy, uh -huh. which is why it's so rare. You see, the Marinda Game Boy is common as fuck. Everyone has this console. I don't. There were thousands of these made and just given away. But the Some slam is like was different. able to buy one okay. for 50 so you bucks, need the and I know Italian for a fact one. he wasn't All lying right. because why would he lie? They must have made like fucking five of these things and just stopped because why would you make more? It only works as a marketing <laughs> stunt for Italy. So what I'm basically trying to How say much is, is if it? you own the mythical slam orange game yeah, boy, yeah. you are probably one of the coolest people alive. How much are we talking here? Do we have Now a... instead of having to we win with know. luck okay. for sweepstakes, let's talk about a game boy you had to earn by having skill. The Sheeran the Wanderer console. Ew. No, thank you. This is a Japanese exclusive N64 game I've never heard of. That's and by speedrunning it, you can win a custom Game Boy color that's designed after it. That's the goal disgusting. was to beat the final boss of the game as fast as... It looks like a toddler just put a bunch of shitty stickers on it. You could. And the top 10 fastest time submitted would win the Game Boy color. And you would apparently also win a Demon Slang certification plate, whatever that means. That sounds kind of This Game cool. Boy is pretty that's lit. Definitely I personally have one. Orange Soda Game Boy over it, but yeah, this no, one's I like pretty the orange cool soda one. Now, the last game... Dude, I genuinely don't know why that trend died the clear colored plastic i think it's cool as shit am i just old like is that does that appeal to me the millennial do people like that now i think people still like it right i think it's so cool man millennials like it I, it's a very millennial thing yeah but i think old. do you guys okay people in chat like it do you like it because it's old or do you like it because it looks good and be honest look deep within introspect I like it because I think it looks cool, but both. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll trust you on this. Game Boy Color I'm going to talk about is this one with Pikachu on it. It's just a simple, wholesome-looking <laughs> Game Boy. Only one. It's like a DeviantArt Game Boy. Of these exists, and it was given away in one of Nintendo's stores in Germany. The only image we have of this one is, uh, as ugly you've seen, Pikachu. one of the fucked up German Pikachu. I don't like that. Fat fucking watermark on it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. But I've talked about. Is that a like a moon? I can't... T is this like a starry night sky? It looks like a moon, or is that the light? I don't know. But I've talked about the Game Boy all damn day, so I'm going to switch it up real quick. I'm talking about these two, finally. I'm uh, going to be pretty brief, because, again, this was still in the caveman age of limited edition consoles. Sure. The biggest example I could even find was the Cashman Super Famicom. Ooh. It's very basic looking. Dude, why is the Famicom so much cooler than the Super Nintendo? Like, not to be all weeby or whatever, but, like, Japan won on this one. It's it's crazy how much cooler it is. The Super Nintendo looks like shit. I, I don't like the purple. I don't like the notches. I just don't. This shit looks so cool, man. The colors. But it's cool <sighs> for the sole reason of probably being the only custom SNES. Rounded edges? That's this yeah, rare. that's what I'm saying. It's awesome, man. It literally just has Cash Man on it. And I was wondering what the hell even Cash Man was. I didn't was. even notice the eject button. Yeah. And apparently it's just some really short manga that the creator of Dragon Ball made on the side. I just thought that it was Skip. kind of interesting. It's Carlito, a super specific going. thing to make a console I don't think variant out of though. That's literally it for the SNES though. Thank you. And uh, the NES, that thing has Jack. There's this NES really? that appeared in the Nintendo World Championships. Is that shit gold? But it doesn't look any different, oh. which low-key kind of blows because the no, controllers look different. Oh, shit! I bet that's just a sticker. The console. Never and mind. I'm, I was going to say, oh, that's cool as hell. It, it, it's just I'm a sticker. Be honest, I'm Who already kind of done with these two consoles. There's really nothing else I got. Show me the game. Okay, besides the SNES M16. 
where does the game go? Yeah, not a rare console, I know, but I found this while researching and I really wanted to talk about it. <laughs> this is a real rare controller that was made for this system. And like, am I the stupid one for not knowing this was a thing? Because <laughs> like, how has nobody talked about this? I've never seen... What game do you play on this? Yoshi's Safari? That duck better run. Alright, so I have a story with this. So when I was a kid, my dad and I went to Toys R Us, and I really wanted to play the new Mario game, which was called Yoshi Safari, okay? I wanted to play this really bad. The problem is that Yoshi Safari is a first-person shooter, and you need a uh, super, a super scope? Is that what it's called? To play it. And my dad was like, $200, fuck that, and he walked out. He's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not paying all that money for you to play one game, so he left. But uh, I think he might have if he saw this. My dad would be like, damn, that's kind of cool, actually. If I'm shooting at Bowser with an M16, die, Lemmy. <laughs> die, die. Yeah, he'd be cool with that, I think. My dad was into guns. He bleeds? Oh, it almost happened. Okay, I was going to say, Yoshi bleeds from his nose? Jesus. That's where his brain is, I think. I want to play Yoshi's Safari now. Damn. First person Mario shooter. Yeah, what game is this yeah, for? I can't think. Can you guys think of a single, like, Wild Guns? What's a good, like, Super Nintendo the NES Doom? <laughs> but the S Punch out. NES M16, bro. Yeah? You thought that was a good idea? That's fun. It was made for the actual U.S. Army to train their aim. What? No way multi-purpose arcade combat simulator max speed run can i play this the snes which i already see as i don't option screen the pair of levels to shoot at least two of three targets at every distance player shiver or but from now on each it is not present. And so it's just, a, it's just, there's nothing fun or silly about it. You're just shooting targets in a digital range. Would you trust these people with your life? Dude, what are you talking? I would not. <laughs> Why is this even an option? Why are we making it digital? Long play. I think I just pull. It says pull the trigger to continue. Yes. Woo! Oh, hello. Check out this image of the control apps colon slash slash. Oh god, he's gonna read the whole thing. Com slash ship slash he's casting Linkaga. He's reading the whole thing. Slash max rifle M16 Super Nintendo controller. He's actually casting the whole spell. Game cartridge condition by Jesus Army C 1993 USA slash A slash 7372 S. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I can't look at the high... Do you really want me to register and sign in for this high-res image? You need a bigger TV, young lady. That thing is huge. You think it's heavy? Does it come with the TV? It's in the lot. 18,000! No. No. <laughs> no. I shan't. I shan't. That's cheap. Chump change. Have you seen the sub count? <laughs> we were at 2750 tonight! Not spending $18,000 on a fake gun! Came with this little game where you had to cart. <laughs> could use it too. It's ridiculous. Like, imagine booting I up did just get 17k. I got 1700! You thought I got 17,000? Did I say 17,000? 1700! Did I really say 17,000? Jesus Christ. Super Mario World, and then you plug in the SNES. Imagine. Holy SM16 shit, to play 1-1. You can't tell me that wouldn't be sick.
the Nintendo 64, and the GameCube. A little two-in-one for you because the N64 only has one really rare console. Oh, Meaning how do we get a whole video like this? We're already, like, burning through the gens. There is a definitive rarest Nintendo 64 out there. Isn't it the fucking... Is it, like, that teal one? No, I'm thinking of the GameCube controller. And this is it. That's not real. That's not real, Carlito. That's it. You did. There, you, no, you did. <laughs> that's not real. You cannot tell me this isn't hard. You're not telling me the Buck Bumble at 64 is real. I've never seen this. It's based off of that one third person shooter where you play as a bee with a gun. It was given away in some Nintendo and Ubisoft toasted sweepstakes. And <laughs> there's a driver PS1. I want that. Germany. And there's sad. Bro, why does Germany get everything? Really no specifics on this one. But to be honest, if I had to assume, it was probably just signing up for it and maybe getting it. Yeah. Low key doubt you had to speedrun Buck Bumble to win this one. But that's just yeah. me. And God, is this thing so fucking cool. That's awesome. This is something I'd nice. want to own. Turn Don't like that this... reset button placement, though. Don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of like right in the middle. Don't like that. Thing's so fucking cool. A little weird. This is something I'd want to own turn on my buck bumble n64 to then put in my copy of banjo 2 i was gonna say ain't nobody playing buck bumble so i can talk to Klungo some more this is my ultimate dream now the game is carlito uh banjo 2 pilled i have to dislike the video wait carlito's in here carlito you a 2 guy we're gonna have words no fuck 2 <laughs> w carlito w we love that guy hell yeah that's my fucking guy, based. I like Klungo. Klungo's cool, but... Cube. So far, household consoles haven't had too many rare goodies. Stand up for yourself, Carlito. Listen, I think everybody agrees Banjo 2 e is, is trash. Not a good game. This thing has a couple, that's for damn sure. Like the Star Fox Assault GameCube. Oh, that's nice. Now, this thing is pretty cool. That's good. But the reasoning on why this console is rare is... Honestly, probably my favorite. Did you guys know that you could take the gem out on the GameCube? I saw this in a YouTube short the other day. Did you guys know that? I'm going to show you just in case people didn't. Uh, yeah. Your GameCube has a pretty cool secret that looks at you every time you put a game in and close the lid. That being the jewel on top with that you can replace logo. this very easily. This can actually be removed and is shown in the manual for the Dole 001 system model. In order to remove the jewel, you just need to press in the two points located under the lid, releasing the plastic from the top. Isn't that on the crazy? back is the Nintendo and GameCube logo etched into the plastic that's been hiding back here the whole time. There's not much you can do now other than replace it with a nicer one or with one that's a bit more customized. There's currently a project in the works from Laser Bear that looks pretty cool, replaces the top jewel with an LCD screen. The jewel snaps right but why would you? Back in the place after dropping the tab ring side camera? down first and then pressing firmly <laughs> what are you on the top. Do this that? seemed to surprise a lot of people online and I think it's so pretty cool that the GameCube has some fun little secrets up its sleeve. If like what would you possibly do with that? This is the first time you've heard about it. Branding? Who's branding their GameCube? It's 2023. Melee friends, let it go. Make sure you leave a like and use a Wii. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? So this console was supposed to be given away in Germany in yet another magazine giveaway. Dude, the fucking Germans! It was for the magazine's 8th anniversary, right? The magazine being What called is Nintendo N Germany doing? They're killing it out there, man. USA doesn't have shit. Zone. But this was actually a really cool giveaway. Because not only was this Star Fox Assault console up for grabs, but also a Yoshi-themed Game Boy Advance nah, SP. Like and this DS that has Mario swimming on it. I kind of like that. That's kind of pretty. These all look pretty cool, yeah. but they actually were never given away in the sweepstakes. And the reasoning oh. as to why is where it gets so good. Because the geniuses behind the magazine just forgot to include instructions on how to actually enter the damn giveaway. Okay. They put these pretty pictures of all these consoles celebrating eight years of their cool Nintendo magazine. Yeah. Just to forget how to tell people how to even win these consoles. So they're just showing off. They're like, hey, check this out. That was definitely a guy who wanted the consoles. Editor-in-chief of the magazine is like, hey, we got to run this ad. And then he just printed it in such a way that you couldn't see how to enter. And these Very things smart. actually look kind of sick, too. He Big fan of the of Mario them. swimming one, personally. But all these things were just lost because nobody got them. That's and good. believe it or not, it happened, like, again. From the same magazine end zone, <laughs> there was another GameCube that was never given away. The Incredibles GameCube. What? Was also doomed to never. You could take out Mr. Incredible. You could put it. Okay. I, I want to put a screen in there. 
You could put an AI Mr. Incredible that says anything you want and just leave it running all day. <laughs> Metroid Prime, huh? <laughs> be given out. Great that's choice. That's so entertaining to me. That's such a specific problem to be happy. The uncanny. <laughs> maybe, maybe he reacts to whatever game you put in. So you put... <laughs> Hold on. So you put in, you know, you're about to play your favorite game. And you put in uh you put in Billy Hatcher and you close the GameCube lid and this pops up. Billy Hatcher. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> you close the lid. And then you swap it out and you start playing Eternal Darkness and you close the lid and it's this. <laughs> Every single game has a different face. That would scare the shit out of me. Every time you close the lid, it's a different face on it. That's good. That's funny. To never be given out. And that's just so entertaining to me. That's such a specific pro problem to be happening to a company. Uncanny, incredible you even, wiki. Like, imagine yeah. being in a situation like this. Like you're the writer for this magazine and you screw up. Well, fuck. Now you got the Yoshi SP stuck in the office. And everyone's like, well, that sucks. No, but, you, you know, say you human. sent it. You, you, you keep it. You make it. mistakes, right? No, you but keep that But then the shit. same shit happens again. With the Incredibles GameCube, <laughs> dude, they must have been pissed. I hope they made whoever screwed this one up keep the Incredibles console. Then I hope he had to like do the walk of shame back home. I mean, the Incredibles the door, one isn't that bad. To his family how he's now down a job and now stuck with a one of a kind GameCube with Mr. Fucking Incredible on it. Dog, this is the coolest oh console God. known to man. Oh, dude, look at the colors on that. The Donkey Konga Cube. Dude, it's green on top, too. Nintendo used this to promote Donkey Konga. It was never officially available to buy. This but shit was it like exists GameStops? out there. Somewhere. Oh my god, that's awesome. This console not only features this roided up Kong, but also this honestly sick-ass color scheme as well. No, it's a good Even color. Even if it didn't yeah. have this DK on it, it just looks No, I good. love that. The DK looks a little fucked up. Like, the, the pupils being a little distorted, and the mouth is a little threatening, right? Like, baring his teeth. I don't know if I like that that much. But, but now we got the final trilogy of GameCubes here. Yeah. We got the Metroid Prime 2 console given away in some French Nintendo magazine. Okay, not Great. really. Great, it looks really cool. There's I get, I mean, the colors are cool, but... I guess it's cool. If Donkey Kong is cool on one, then I guess Samus is cool on another. Whatever. Just not much to it. Fine. Four of these were made. Then a lot of GameCubes with the MTV logo on oh, it. Oh, that's More MTV cool. GameCubes than the world has ever seen or needed. I want... Oh, dude, I kind of want this one. This one behind me? Yeah, yeah, this one here. Or the camo one. The blue and white one is so classic, though, man. Dude, they're all so good. They're all so tastefully made. How can you like the wooden one? I don't really like the wooden one. <laughs> the wooden one is a little tacky. The rest, though. These were given away on the MTV show I itself. Like that. And finally the last rare GameCube, and this is a big one. The Luigi's Mansion GameCube. We've talked about so many random giveaways, but this one is yet another console that required raw skill and talent to have earned Okay. at the 2002 Nintendo Championships. This was a gauntlet of some of the most fierce and competitive Nintendo games released up until this point. Round one consisted of three different games, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, oh. Wave Race Blue Storm, yes. and Pikmin. Oh, <laughs> what? How are, how do you compete? So how this shit show worked was that throughout playing a bit of each game, you would earn points. Like in Pikmin, the goal was to see how many Pikmin each player could collect in a single in-game day. And they would keep track of that okay. and earn points based off of it. Tony Hawk, you'd do the points, tricks and yeah. get points. And for Wave Race, they would apparently take away some of your points, depending on how long you took to finish the oh, race. Oh, like that slaloms and stuff, your yeah. score, Which is interesting, but sure it worked. <laughs> One Pikmin equals 10,000 points. Score got in game is added to points. <laughs> Wait, Pikmin are way stronger than anything else. Wait, I would hard focus Pikmin. You know how hard it is to get like a million point combo in Tony Hawk? It's like not easy. It's not hard if you're good, but like if you haven't played it and don't know the manual. Wait, no, this is Tony Hawk 3. Did they have the revert to manual? I don't know if they, I don't know when reverts and manuals came out. They do. Oh, okay. Well, then you're able to do it. Okay. Yeah. 
I listen. I don't know how many people were that nice to Tony Hawk back then. So, the top 16 people with the highest scores would progress. So the highest score in Pikmin, no way you're getting a hundred, but that's what a million hundred. Yeah. Now round two was Super Smash Brothers Melee hell one yeah. once. There were definitely some hot sets here. I was there. Trust me. This guy's Fox was nice as hell. I was gonna say I want to watch that right now. And the player Send that count shit would right go now. down to eight. Round three, Need for Speed. Oh my god, I would have won this tournament. Holy shit, dude. I love this game. I, I unironically loved this game. I would have won this tournament and the, the GameCube. This game would cut down our roster from eight to four. Then the semifinals would occur. NHL. I lose. Never mind, I'm out. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm out, actually. I can't. I'm not in this anymore. I'm going home. I can't. I thought it was NF NHL Hits, which was the Blitz. You guys see this shit? I thought it was like that. And I was like, ooh, I'll get down on some hits. If it's like, you know, we're actually playing, but. The GameCube <sighs> hockey game. Okay. And then finally, the finals. Mark versus Jan Eric. Best of three. No way, it's Wario. Different games right? will be played for each okay. game. Game one, Ice Climber. Cool. Mark wins. Love that. Game two, Time Splitters 2. Dude. Jan Eric wins. Oh my god. I. I. Oh, okay. I want Nintendo run tournaments again. I love this. I love this. I want this. They did that world championship that John fucking numbers won. Like, however many years ago. I love this shit. I really do. This is amazing. Please. And game three, Mario Kart 64. <laughs> okay. This is a fun bit. This is nice. Settle it all. Jane Eric was in the lead on the final lap of the race, mm -hmm. but then Mark popped a blue shell. Mark crosses the finish line and wins. He earns his ass <laughs> oh a whole God. ass setup. Is that real? Is this a real story? Did you make this up? I could never call you on it. I could never guess. It was actually a blue shell. I found it on the Wayback Machine official page. <laughs> the Nintendo wrote that shit. I know Nintendo wrote that shit. That shit's not real. Nintendo wrote that. Oh my god, I would pay thousands for this. Dude, this fire CRT. A Wave Racer VHS? Mario and Link sound system. Dude, this rules. This is phenomenal. I would actually be furious losing this to a fucking blue shot. I would never play Mario again. In any capacity. Mario Kart, Mario Sunshine, Mario Party. I'd be sick of this asshole. I'm a PS1 guy now. This was probably peak for 2002, I'd be but the most prized. I thought that was a PC. I think it's a sound system, but who knows? It could be. Possession was definitely that Luigi's Mansion GameCube. I don't know, dude. The TV is, the TV is different. I think the TV is the prized possession here. That TV is crazy. Definitely that Luigi's Mansion GameCube, one of a kind. Now that we're done with the cube, we can move up a Good generation section. to Good the two section. Game Boy Advances. And oh, not more Game Boy. Let me introduce you to the hot violet Game Boy Advance. I don't want to see this might the be hot violet Game Boy Advance. I don't first, give a shit about it has mobile to it. consoles, It's supposed bro. to be based off of one of the F Zero cars wow, that being cool, hot violet, man. which is neat and all, but compare this to a normal Game Boy Advance and you see what I mean. To earn this sticker, one, you had to bro. finish a race as fast as you could and try to get the lowest time possible. Top three fastest times would get their hands on a hot violet Game Boy Advance. And it's low-key and underwhelming prize comparing it to the original, but it was in a magazine. The people who tried to win it knew what they were getting into. I guess. That's low-key on them. They spent their sweet-ass time grinding this game, their fault if they didn't think it was worth it. But here's another cooler-looking GBA, the one made for Golden Sun. This was, you know, yet another simple magazine Ooh. giveaway, because of course it was. Oh, I like that. That's tasteful, actually. I don't know if y'all can see this. They got little sprites down there. That's kind of heat. I like that. But this one looks pretty cool. It yeah, I know. I dig regal. that. That's and I one. personally think that's a pretty good adjective to describe this thing. I dig that, Just yeah. Just a simple and fine-ass console. Fine-ass console. Moving on to the next GBA, we got the Play for America set. This one's kind of pushing it a little. I won't lie, but it's interesting, so I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> uh... So what we got here is three different GBAs that were decorated by three different famous athletes. No way they got Tony Hawk to bedazzle the GBA. 
His ass did no work. Oh my god. The other ones, like, have some level of forethought. They, like, painted and, like, really did their all. I mean, Kelly Slater made a, a beautiful wave, right? Dave Mira made, like, a flag. Tony Hawk literally just covered it in glue and then threw glitter on it. He didn't try it all. Dude. <laughs> he, he threw the glitter just all over it with zero concern and then bedazzled red, white, and blue jewels. Did he do them at least in order? Red, blue, white. Red, blue, white. Red, blue. Okay, that was a little better. Tony gave it to his niece. I will say Deep Mirror is kind of an asshole for signing the screen. But there was a backlight on the GBA, so you might be able to see through it. How to win one of these is you would actually vote on which one you think looks the best. Definitely Kelly Slater's, I think. Well, I don't know. Mirrors would be good if he didn't sign each one individually. And then you were put into a raffle, and if your name... Wait, there wasn't a backlight on that Game Boy? Oh, I'm thinking of the SP. Never mind. Got drawn, you would get I the forgot. GBA you voted for. Dude, the Game Boy Advance SP is, like, a perfect design. What an excellent system. They should just keep making those. They're so cool. In celebration of this really cool event, Nintendo also donated $3,000 to the charity of each of the athletes choice. That's nice. Now why I said this was pushing it is because, I mean, it wasn't company made per se. Nintendo just put three dudes in a room and made them each do arts and crafts with some <laughs> Game Boys. I was going to say, this is like a camp project. <laughs> they did, I don't know if they did it themselves or they told somebody to do it, but... But the whole setup here is what made me talk about it. Uh -huh, but okay. dude, I needed to talk about this. I kind of like feel so bad for whoever won this thing. <laughs> Playing on this thing must be one of the saddest gaming experiences like ever. You're just reminded of Dave Mira at every moment. You just can't have any achievements or accomplishments for yourself. You just can't play the game. Dave Mira's ass is always just right there. And I think he's dead. Which makes it even sadder. The entire screen is covered <laughs> by the man's signature. That is probably like the most insane ego shit I've seen. Oh, that's but now, funny. Now finally, that's let good. me hit you up with one of the consoles that changed this entire world, the Nintendo DS. Never been a DS guy, don't care about these. Uh, I suggest you omit these systems in the future. The Animal Crossing DS. Never fucking mind. Oh my god. One for each season. Oh my god. These are probably some of my favorite looking consoles on this list, personally. They're mad Those are cute. beautiful. All of them are one of a kind based on a different season of the oh year. Oh my god, I want spring. You can see. I want spring but so But not bad. only do they look pretty good. They look like they're 3D. Are they, like, Im embedded? They were given away in a really cool way. This spring DS was given away in a contest in which you would have to create your own custom Animal Crossing character. Aww. The coolest looking Animal Crossing OC would get this really cool Nintendo DS. Here are the top three submissions, and they look pretty cool. I feel kind of bad for the claymation guy getting last, because I feel... Well, that's not true. I was going to say, I feel like this is the hardest one to do. Other than drawings, but that's not true, really. It's not that much, right? One is good. Although violent. He has a knife. One is hardest easily. Well, especially back then. Like, you can't pop that shit in Blender, you know? He's a sushi chef. Uh, okay, so he's... Well, I guess he would kill fish anyway. He's a... He's a whale. But there are fish in Animal Crossing, right? Are there fish? Like, fish villagers? Wait, you catch fit. Oh. Are there... There are no fish village. There's octopus. Yes. There's an octopus. Do you catch octopus? You catch squid. Whales don't eat fish. Oh, they eat plankton. Well, they do eat fish. When they open their mouth, fish might swim in. Gotcha, chatter. Ban that guy. Animal Crossing stream next week? No. They do eat fish. Oh. Shut up. This is probably one of my favorite competitions we've seen up to this point, honestly. People are just talented, man. I really like these designs. Yeah, those are pretty and good. And of course, this I, you know, I don't really like the penguin, though. And I know I'm a hater. I just, I don't know. Not really a fan. It's well made. I just don't like him. 
It's it's well made. It's just me. It's just Definitely, me. Honestly, it's just me. I like the other people ones are just more. talented, man. That's I really me. like these designs. And of course, this guy won the DS. The other two won sure. stuff as well. But I mean, key ring, pencil, block, and sweater. Block? What do you mean by block? Oh, he's an owl. He's not a penguin. Never mind. I like him more. I thought he was a penguin. No DS for them. But of course, there's more than just the spring DS here, so let's talk about some of the other ones. Please do. The summer and the autumn DSs. Now, this is where things get a little mysterious and questions mysterious? start getting unanswered. The summer one, to my knowledge, nobody knows how this was given out. Nintendo worked with some distributor to give these consoles out, right? And this picture was taken by the company who distributed the DS, not uh -huh. whoever actually won it. And we don't even know how it was won, but I mean, it looked kind of raw at least, right? I also mentioned I the autumn really like one, that though, inside. and this one is slightly less a mystery. It's just still really confusing, though. So just to be clear, that was done by Sweden. Again. And if I remember correctly, all those systems that didn't make it out of the N0 or whatever magazine, those were also Swedish, right? Or No, they were German. Sweden was the, uh, was the game championships whatever nuke europe we there's don't too even... much suspicious stuff going on over there just don't let them have any consoles one though get and rid of all slightly of them. less care. a mystery it's just still really confusing though some retro gaming store apparently just received Thanks, Ariel. It. the reasoning was like they were so retro this one is one slightly less a mystery it's just still really confusing though some retro gaming store apparently just received it <laughs> The reasoning was like they were so trustworthy with Nintendo that they were awarded the console okay. for being just so cool with Nintendo. I call bullshit on that. <laughs> I doubt Nintendo actually gave this specific store the DS randomly. They just like you so much. And we're just so cool. We're such good friends. They I just gave me a one-of-a-kind console. Assume the winner of whatever contest is had gave the store the DS or sold it to them or something. Because we do at least know the store actually got the DS. Then one of the employees held on to it and then told this whole story of the store just getting it. Probably but, bought that shit for like a hundred bucks. I just think it's all kind of odd. I don't really think he's lying. I just think we're missing like a really big part of the picture here. Yeah, that's weird. I feel like it's pretty safe to assume it was given away in some contest or raffle. I just doubt we'll ever find out for sure. But of Thanks, Xenon, for the gift. Of course, Thanks, there's big still Bob one Bob. more, and we actually do have information on it. The winter one. This one was given away in a less cool way. All you had to do to win it was to answer this really piss easy set of questions. <laughs> ah, okay. Animal Crossing Wild World can be played via wireless internet thanks to Nintendo's free service, Wi Fi connection, or Sci Fi connection. You know, there was a kid that got these wrong, didn't get their parents' help. That's really sad to me, actually. A kid who really wanted to win this, and he just put in all the wrong answers because he was too dumb and too young, and his parents didn't help him. Aw. <laughs> I'm sad. A poor kid. And if you got you all the- You still entered with wrong answers. Yeah, but you know what I mean. It's like, pissy questions, right? Like, you can't trust dad to get these right or to even help you, so you say sci-fi connection because you're a dumbass kid. Then you were put into a raffle to be able to win Aww. the Winter DS. These things I are want really the interesting anyway. to me. They're all connected, but at the same time, they all have super different I want spring, stories. Please. Even if we don't really know how some of them were given away, just Is it just one each? There's only cool one of these each. Me. This really shows us a time where Nintendo did random pointless shit just for the sole reason of pleasing fans. And maybe one day we'll actually get to know everything about these things fully. We gotta move on though. Let me show you some more DS's. Here are the Sundance film. Does Nintendo do more of this shit when they're failing? Because, like, the GameCube had a lot of shit, but that was a failing... Co I guess we haven't gotten to the Wii yet, right? DS was not failing. No, I guess that's true. No, you're right. I'm wondering if, like, Nintendo's strategy is like, okay, we're doing bad. Let's go into bear mode and just uh, let, let's try to cultivate this, this fan base. You know what I mean? But no, DS was big. Damn, these are pretty. Film Festival DS. This is just early 2000s. I just wonder why we can't do this anymore. Cool giveaways and, and dumb little bullshit. Audience participation stuff. 
These systems were auctioned off at the Sundance Film Festival. I like that which green is one a lot. Give me that. Popular film festival I want that, that happens please. every year in the U.S. Can I have now, it? Now, these were auctioned off, I want sure, that. but all the proceeds would actually go to charity. Because of that, and because of the fact that these were all one of a kind, people put in a lot of money to get their hands on these things. The How brown much? one got sold to Alan Cumming for. Alan, what? So stupid. Editor, don't put that in the video. That's so stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. Only 1500 though. For 1500 Doesn't green seem one got that sold crazy. Poppy fuck, to, to, for 2500 Yeah, I would And the blue one got sold now. to that Jay Moore for a huge 10000 Jay Moore? Jay Moore bought a blue DS for $10,000. Former SNL writer and cast member Jay Moore. Since this event was such a big success, Nintendo themselves even donated. Jay Moore is a huge gamer. Is that true? <laughs> what the fuck? They did 13,000 right, of their own cool. money to go to charity. Now, remember that Luigi's Mansion GameCube one in that Nintendo tournament series from earlier? Uh huh. Well, this next DS was one in the same series. Oh my god, that's cool. Dude, this old art is so good. It really is, man. It's just peak. Like this era? Oh. Just a different year. This one being one in 2004. We don't actually know what the games played for this one were, or at least I couldn't find it. But we know who actually won it. Because the kid who won the 2004 Swedish Nintendo Championships would have farm every future year of this <laughs> event. Literally every other winner of this series. Oh, hell won yeah. Once. But Joachim here won three, which is pretty huge. Joachim is a real gay. I gotta find him on Twitch. This dude isn't any random either. He's actually known across the world. Really? Because Joachim Actorhall used to also be one of the best Dota 2 players in huh? the world. Wait, what? You're kidding. This is He's a Nintendo gamer. That's actually what he's mainly known for, being good at huh? Dota 2. But honestly, this dude is kind of just good at games in general. Winning three of these events is not easy. He's even played in tournaments for games that are just completely different from Dota, like Melee. He entered this pretty huge European Melee event. What? He was actually able to get fifth in doubles right behind players like Armada and Leffen. What the fuck? Well, it's Europe. Wait, it's Europe. <laughs> There's a pretty steep drop-off. Uh, <laughs> I want to see. I'm just. I'm not trying to be rude. I just want to know who else got fifth. Who else got fifth and seventh? Let's be honest. Hold on. Who else got fifth and seventh? I need to know. Come on. <laughs> Europe doubles, bro. Like, good team. Good team. Good team. Good team. Eh. <laughs> Double chic too. Like, come on. Maybe you guys are being so nice because you didn't realize it was double chic. It's double chic. Come on. 500 Noakes. Oh, I forgot to mention this. So, <laughs> and I forgot to tell you guys. So, uh, if you guys didn't know, I won Twitch Rivals um, for Party Animals uh, on Friday. Uh, I won $1,700. I think that might be as much, if not more, than I won in 10 years of Smash Brothers. And I'm not kidding. I forgot to mention that bit. I think I won more money playing party animals for four hours, three and a half hours, than I did in 10 years of Smash Brothers. That's a hungry box tweet? Oh, that's smart. No, because that makes me look bad. <laughs> I was never good at a relevant game. That's just like, well, other people made money. Mewtwo King made a lot of money. He won everything in Brawl. How did you do, Coney? I'm like, I, I got a, I won a couple regionals and <laughs> got fifth at a couple big things, you know. This man is just kind of good. He made 17k or 1700. I made 1700 dollars. The total prize pool was 70 thousand, and I made 1700 because uh, it was 1700 per team for first. Games, man. He's definitely worthy of owning this one of a. Over Triforce got seventh at that tournament in doubles. Was over Triforce good? I don't know. Yes? I don't believe you. 
kind Nintendo DS. Now, so far for the DS, we've talked... Ex- oh, wait, over... Tra- oh, that guy. Never mind. ...exclusively about the Pivot. original model. But this console Editor, really... Editor, do me only- a favor, cut that part out, because I don't want weird comments. Yeah, we're gonna... It's a, it's a long story. Somebody who got... Can't, you know, it's one of those things. I don't mind saying names on stream, because I don't give a shit, but I don't want weird comments or whatever, but... Yeah. I was thinking Triforce like the the other guy, the MVG guy. Too many Triforces. They took off when the DS Lite came out. So, of course, there's a EMP, good amount of these, it, yeah. right? First up, we got the Trackmania DS Lite. I think it looks just fine. Trackmania was around back then? I see that shit. Huh? Yes? Okay. Looks just fine. I thought it was kind of. To what you just had to answer a simple question, but the question is what intrigued me. You had to describe the most unusual place for you to be playing <laughs> a game of Trackmania DS. Okay. And the most creative answer would win the DS. I- hey guys, bad news. Five, four, three, ads right now. Ads in five seconds. I got no snoozies. We do have three minutes of ads every hour, guys. Unfortunately, I can't avoid it, but you can with a Twitch Prime or a Tier 1 subscription. Remember, it is September, which means that Twitch uh, Twitch subs are 25% off. You get a dollar off of Twitch subs for September only or free with Twitch Prime. I'm sorry. I got to run the ads. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. My bad, everybody. Coney, what's this song called? I, I made it up myself. I made that song. Thank you, The League, for the Prime. Thanks for the prime. No, I made that song. I did that. For uh I I made it in Fruity Loops. The craziest place to play Trackmania DS is during a Coney stream. I, I I could think of like five things crazier. I don't think that's true. Did you do the vocals? Nope. Five, four, three, two, one. Does he Does he No, okay, we're good. I thought there was something in the background of one of the things. I was a little nervous. Okay, no, that's not. Never mind. Okay. Thanks, Kelk. The craziest thing is the fact that Trackmania DS runs at 60 FPS. I don't have a game of Trackmania. It's kind of ugly, though. It's not that crazy. You had to describe the most unusual place for you to be playing a game of Trackmania DS. And the most. Play the scat parrot? Okay. I guess I will. I'll stall for a little bit so people don't miss too much of the movie. (laughs) What is bro singing? It sounds like Jewel. It's so soulful. KBD toilet. Why does everybody keep saying that? It's a parrot on a toilet. Make that audio a point redeem. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. I kind of like that. That's. I think I shall. I think I shall. That's a good idea. I don't want to... The problem with point redeems is that, like, they're so hard to, to know what the right price is. Why did I click on this link? I trust Will too much. I clicked on an MP4 link from Will without hesitation. I should not have done that. Oh, no. <laughs> Fellas, should I do it? Should we do it? Huh? Do it, please. Huh? You want me to hit the button? You want to see it? Huh? Huh? How's the bit rate? How's the bit rate, huh? <laughs> I just finished putting them in the jar. How do they keep going? It is bouncing crazy in there. How many 
many marbles are there? <laughs> what did you say? Is that how many marbles is that? It's bouncing like crazy in there. Oh, clicking on another link from chat. <laughs> okay, let me turn that one down. Stop! Stop pushing things down the stairs. Stop! That's enough. Stop! 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 This is a huge mess. Stop pushing things down the stairs. No, stop. You're gonna have to clean this up. You have to clean this. I'm not cleaning this up. I'm not doing this. Imagine living next to this person. Okay, at least there are no more marbles. Now it's just drink. No more marbles. Now it's just drink. So that one did okay. That great soda survived. Yep. Okay, that sound was pretty good. Hold on, go back for that one. <laughs> okay, I like that one. That one was my favorite. This is what I do when you hang out with my apartment. What? <laughs> That's a good movie. Love loud and funny sounds. Hey, congrats on uh, making it through the ads, everybody. <laughs> I just realized React Wars is coming back soon. We're going to get a lot of these, I think. There's probably going to be a lot of this shit. Season 5, it's much sooner than you think. Keep your Sundays open, okay? Most creative answer would win the DS. I don't Have actually know ready. what answer won, but there's a lot of different ways you could fucking answer a question like this. So it really piques my interest of what, you know, what really is the weirdest place to play Trackmania DS. I could think of a couple. Moving on, here's the Professor Layton DS. This is the only console uh, in this video to actually be given. Kind of This is in political Nintendo. ads now, Link. Political ads? What? The... The... The marbles? Oh my god. Hey, Tony. First what time donating fuck? on a Steam ever. I wanted to yeah. do this because I got a picture with you at Super Smash. Oh, thank it made you. My weekend since I am a fan of watching your YouTube content. Thank you, good Thanks guy, Gage. Thanks for being a cool guy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Thanks for the 10 bucks. Thank you. That's very nice. Yeah, I didn't realize that this was, like, getting this big. <laughs> ...building itself Ugh. at the Nintendo World Store. The staff at Nintendo World Store just got a bunch of people, put them in a room, made them all put on hats like they're in some... <laughs> And whoever could solve the most Professor Layton puzzles in 10 minutes won the DS. Okay. So it's kind of like a real cult. My favorite thing about these Nintendo competitions is that I feel like they had no thought put into them. You know what I mean? I feel like uh, all these competitions that they do, even the big ones, they're just like, I don't know. Uh, just have them play the game. What do you mean? How many points do we give? 10,000 per Pikmin. It's a lot. What about one per Pikmin? <laughs> no! And that's all I got. How about all a right, lot next more? Thing, these two Pokemon DSs. These were both won from different events, but they were similar, so I just... Ew. Can you guys see this one behind me? Ugh. Yuck. Bunch them together. First, we got this one with a Pokeball on it. It was for Pokemon's 10th anniversary and was a tournament held in celebration of the anniversary. Yeah. There was a 12-year-old in under bracket and then just a normal bracket. The sure. two winners of these would get their they DSs. Do that. And this is just a bit of extra info, but some kid who was actually 13 signed up as being 12 to enter this bracket and he ended up winning. <laughs> that one extra year brain development coming in clutch. Very smart. Love that. Yep. Bro was over leveled. Smurfing. Bro, if I was 13, I would do this same goddamn thing. If I was 14, if I was 15, 
I would do the same goddamn thing. Was it you, Coney? The fuck I look like playing Pokemon. Stop. I grew out of that shit at red and blue. Gem one best gem. I thought that shit was funny because it's really not a big deal, but I know at least one kid out there in the tournament started fuming <laughs> when they found out this kid was actually 13. The I would be furious. I would blame Nintendo. The whole time. This I'd other sue. Pokemon Could you sue? <gasps> oh, I would sue. This one was also won in a tournament, this one being the Pokemon World Championships for two. I would hit him? No, you wouldn't. He's bigger than you. 2008. He's 13, you're but 12. But it was specifically for the card game, and I know that's a very minute detail at first, but I'm saying it because there actually was another version meant for people who did well in the bracket for the game. It just has a slightly different logo. Oh. But the difference oh, is, is that the card one is really rare. And the other one has over 100 copies made. And Damn. that's all there is to that. And I guess I'll just mention this one because, like, fuck it at this point, man. The Bratz DS. Uh, GameStop <laughs> the what? One of a kind system Bratz console. Oh. The Nintendo Wii. You know what? It kind of. GameStop sweepstakes. One of a kind system Bratz console. It kind of looks like the Tony Hawk Game Boy. You can get a little bit less color, but it looks like Tony Hawk might have designed that joint. Well done, Anthony Slay. Console, the Nintendo Wii. I know you're just There's on probably the edge a million of your seat of these, just right? hearing that name because this is a Shit big one. It looks uncomfortable to hold. It looks like your hand would smell weird after playing it for like 10 minutes. You know what I mean? You guys ever touch like that weird metal and you're like, where's that like rust smell coming from? And you're like, oh, Jesus. Have you guys ever had that? Like a door handle or something? And you know it. With how many people own the Wii, it makes sense for there to be a bunch of different random Wii variants. <laughs> like a bleach smell. No, not like a bleach smell. But as always, man, you get the idea. Some are more rare than others. I had a red one. So let me one, show yeah. you a couple, starting with the Art of Wii set. Nintendo Ooh. teamed up with Udon Entertainment and some company called Magic Pony to give away some dope Wiis, right? I kind of well, like it. They're, uh, dude, they're so 2000s. Oh my god. They're like painfully, like, ugly 2000s. These are so cool. I like this one and no other. Top middle isn't bad. Top middle's the worst one. Top middle looks like the front of a GameStop cover where they don't have the cover. You know what I'm talking about? Like, when GameStop didn't have the cover to a game, so they put this shit on. Wait. <coughs> Bless me. What happened here is six different Canadian artists made custom designs for Wii. Oh, there's your problem. Each design was completely unique. They don't understand And were given away to fans. It's sadly still not fully known on how these were given away through sweepstakes or a contest or what. All we know is that they had a website at one point with instructions on how to enter. Cool, but I it's guess. dead, obviously, and the Wayback Machine didn't even preserve it, so it's kind of fucked. Isn't it weird that, like, we just don't have access to this stuff anymore? And I know that's, like, a like an easy thing. Like, you could just say, like, yeah, of course not. But, like, what is going to be the next technological shift that leaves stuff in the past again, right? What's going to What's going to be the next thing, the next medium that we go into... That makes it so, you know, all these tweets or YouTube videos or whatever are just lost to time. Are we better at preservation now so that won't be an issue? It's probably an AR, VR thing, right? Like a Ready Player One kind of deal, but where we all exist in the digital space. But I feel like the preservation is so top of mind now where it didn't used to be that I don't know if we're going to have that same issue, but maybe we will. I don't know. Storage is cheap now. Oh, you think that's what it is? Like between like innovations and in storing technology and data? That's interesting. Okay. Chill near automata boy. Any question about technology is ju I'm just near automata boy. Is that me? Because you know how much I love that series, right? You know, I love that franchise. Cool, man. Yeah. I want to ban you so fucking bad. I just want to... I'm going to give you a strike. How about this? How about this? I'm going to meet you halfway. All right? I'm going to click your name, but I'm not going to click again. Every time you piss me off, I'm going to do one more click. And actually, you only have one left. So that's your strike one. Your name is open. 
Eran Ten Eyes. <laughs> Burn his house down. Whoa, chatter. <laughs> Relax. Just because I have all of your IPs and addresses doesn't mean I need to do anything with them. There are some really neat looking designs here, so I just didn't want to not show these. But we haven't even really seen what they look like in person, so they're definitely lost to time. Next up, we got another kind of quick one, but a cool one. The PAX 2008 Nintendo Wii. That's ugly. I this don't like that. This was a prize for either getting first or second at PAX 2008's Omegathon. Omegathon ugly. being a tournament at PAX every year. Oh We're yeah, what's mine? You're Chris from Denver, Colorado each round played is a different game just like the championships we talked i know there's a 99 percent chance i got that wrong but what if i was right what if i was there's there's a guy there's a guy in, named chris right now in colorado that's like freaking out so high about earlier Congrats. but obviously the if there's i had a one in a thousand chance of hitting that coney i saw your party animals win it was so hype congrats also i missed your robotnik bit thank you robotnik bit's fun you just can't over spam it you know what i mean can't go crazy with it. A thousand is too low. Yeah, that's it's probably way lower than that. But dude, the party animals win. I I was never. I never thought we wouldn't win. I don't know why. Maybe I'm crazy, but I was always like, I don't know. I was confident, bro. There was different games, and I'm just gonna show it here. This is a fucking raw game list. You dude, Boom Blocks is great. Oh my god, Peggle Pictionary Boom Block. I want to play in this tournament. If I had a time machine, that's what I would do. I would snipe every Nintendo tournament and beat everybody, even the Dota guy. Can't tell me it's not. Fucking Boom Blocks, dude. They had <laughs> Boom Blocks. The did, top two did, were any of you guys around for Boom Blocks? Can't tell me it's not. Fucking Boom Blocks, this dude. They had Boom Blocks. This game was so weird because it's a Steven Spielberg game, whatever the fuck that means, and it got nines from, like, every publication. And I remember thinking, like, what the fuck? What... <laughs> Where is this coming from? It got like nines and tens. It's like, why are people going crazy for this? And I looked at it, I was like, it is a movie game? No, it's Angry Birds. But it was like before Angry Birds. The Wii game that you never hear about, though, that you should play, and I stand by this, this game is fantastic. And nobody talks about it. This game is called Elibits. It's just a source game. But with the Wii Remote. You could make this in VR easily. You just have to shoot the Elibits. Not this again. This game rules! This game, unironically, is amazing. You have to, like, find... St it's like hide and seek... I can't believe this game, like, didn't pop off one. <laughs> this shit's like Will a David Will there be a video about the party animals run? It's good. Congrats on the big win. Insane cat. I don't think so. I don't think we're doing a party animals video, because what would you... I don't think YouTube cares. What would YouTube... Ca well, maybe. Eh. I don't, I don't know if YouTube would care. You need the content? I do, actually, because I'm leaving all this week, and then I am doing other stuff in the near future that will make it hard to farm content. So maybe. Uh, maybe. We'll see if there's a desire for party animals content. Blocks. The top two players got their hands on the custom packs we, as, as well as an Xbox 360 and PS3. I mean, they're cool looking for sure, but that's all I got for this. Nah, they're ugly. One man. I don't like now that. I got the When's the next stream? Oh yeah, I'm I'm gone Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll be back on Thursday. I might do Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday, but I'm not sure yet. Goes out of the way so I can talk about one of the coolest consoles God has ever graced our world with. What is it? The Diblob Wii. Oh my God! Ew. <laughs> now I don't. This was another game that got like eights and nines and shit all over the place. I know how many of you are familiar with Diblob? Because now that I Ubisoft. think about it, it's I can't THQ. even actually okay. remember the last time I've seen someone talk about this game. Yeah. I mean, I know about it because I actually owned the game, played it back in the day. You know me. Sure. And I low key remember liking it. I know it Carlito too, loves that shit. Yeah, he loves this the game. Isn't talked about for a reason. Back Always on topic that. though, a big theme of this game is clearly paint or coloring in general, right? And it's a part of the unique Diblob style. 
So uh-huh. the sweepstakes you'd enter to win the Wii would actually take inspiration from the game's style. And the contest was to go on the debl- I just realized what song is playing. I will never be free. ...blob website and draw whatever you wanted. The fantastic de blob devs would pick three of their favorite designs submitted and give them all de blob Wii's. But don't- It's like that Kirby song. I just can't. I- you worry. There were awesome runner-up prizes oh. as well if you didn't make top three. Like winning a copy of the game or even a de blob toy. But maybe you were too hardcore of a Nintendo fan and thought that was a little underwhelming. I'm not So really I'll show a you some more guy. serious Wii's. Don't care. These two Wii's are so legendary that only the craziest bastards alive would even dare to try to own. What them. are they? Because you could buy like I don't know, a car with the money needed for one of these. Oh, is it gold? First, the Super Smash Brothers Brawl Wii. I- <laughs> oh my god, dude. I genuinely believe this is the most over-the-top looking Nintendo Wii. That w- <laughs> Tony Hawk's at it again. My boy Tony H. At it again. That's my boy. He's really getting good with that bedazzler, actually. Actually curious to your thoughts on this one, Brawl Man. Bro, that shit would overheat like crazy. That shit is hot as hell. Will ever exist in our timeline. <laughs> if this wasn't enough, you know, I'll show you the other side. Bam. Supreme Lord <laughs> Bowser gracing us with... I swear to God, I've seen this PNG before. I'll pop it up if I find it. Oh, wow. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know that render. Good render. And they even gave the Wii, like, a fucking subtitle for <laughs> to end them all. They... I, I feel like that shit would fall off, though. How is that shit affixed? Don't move. You better stay at your house forever. You better be very careful with how you move this. Made you want to feel, like, cool owning this for sure. But enough about me talking about how cool it looks. Let's talk about its history. Only okay. one person was able to win this console by really? competing in the Super Smash Brothers Brawl American Circuit. What? I don't... Another tournament I know, but this one is probably the coolest in my opinion. I don't know about this. This circuit was a set of Brawl tournaments that were actually hosted before the game even came out. What? I don't know this. I don't know about this. Coney missed it? So, so I had a pact, right? I had a pact. Is it Mewtwo King? I doubt it. Mewtwo King, was it super popping off at the b- very beginning of the game. He popped off after like six months or two months or something. So I w- I had a pact when the game came out. Me and my friends were like, we're going to go pro in this game. But obviously, I was dog shit. So I didn't go to many tournaments. I didn't start getting good until like 2009, 2010. So for the first like year of Brawl, I, was, I didn't go to much. I was playing with my friends in my basement. I held tournaments in my basement, and I made sure no pros went. Do you guys know Vish, the Luigi player? <laughs> Vi- not Vish. Vish is the commentator. Vist. He's an old-school Luigi player. We told him he couldn't come because he was too good. But really, it was so I could win the tournament, and he couldn't beat me. <laughs> yeah, Vist. Yeah. We were like, no pros allowed. Bra Luigi? I think he could play anybody and beat us. He was a He was a melee Luigi player. Yeah. Thanks to Nintendo. It was an Arcadian! Open run the circuit. <laughs> Players from across America would enter and try to win this custom Wii. That not only has my favorite video game characters, Mario and Bowser, on it, but is also covered in real crystals. So many crystals that it's estimated at being worth $4,000. And That's it? Huh. Thought it'd be worth more crystal decoration alone I mean, i'd fine, honestly say even if you but... didn't care for the wii and you wanted to sell it for 2008 smash dude 4k shit no that's huge that's that's huge that's huge now honestly if you had like a four thousand dollar tournament is still not for like a regional that's not bad it came with a bunch of other stuff too here's all that if- oh my god lg flat panel lcd and a theater system okay and a signed copy of brawl who signed it Definitely not Sakurai. If you care. But, uh, yeah, Korean DJ won it. Incredible Melee player back, huh? back in the day. Against he Trump did? Was there. A couple of the sets from the circuit actually still exist on YouTube. Back in the day. I have a Korean DJ story. <laughs> Smash 4. First tournament in Smash 4. Apex 2015. We had to play. I played Ness. He played Diddy. Uh, I, I, he clearly doesn't play Smash 4. But he knows how to do the Diddy thing, the down throw, up air, you know, that shit. And I'm clearly, like, better than him at the game because I was a brawl player, but he's he's camping the shit out of me, and he just keeps doing it over and over. We go game, game three, it's on Delfino, I lose to him. And he gets up, and he's like, 
he's like, hey, man, I'm sorry. And he knows, you know what I mean? He's a great player, obviously. We know he's good, but he didn't play Brawl. So he beats me, and he feels bad about it because he knows how stupid Diddy is. And, uh, and and he was a really cool guy. He was an awesome guy. And he was like, um, he's like, hey, man, I'm sorry. And I was still really mad. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, fist bump him, walk away. I'm still steaming. What am I supposed to say? It's okay? I was fucking furious, man. I was so mad. Diddy is so fucking cringe in that game, man. Ugh. People telling me sorry after they can't me piss me off. Well, it wasn't me mad at him. I wasn't mad at him because, you know, he was... It, it's the first tournament for the game. He's playing to win. It's fine. I was mad at Diddy Kong. Stupid-ass character, man. It was so annoying. What did I get at Apex 2015? Not good. I think he lost next round. Uh, I think I made it out of tournaments. This is the tournament where I beat uh, Void and Charles, though. <laughs> L to those two. Hold on. Oh, they played Brawl? I don't think I entered Brawl. Did I? Smash for Wii U singles. Am I even on this? Void 33rd? Damn. It was probably pools. I'm not even here. Oh, my God. I was so bad at Smash 4. Oh, do they only have the top 16 bracket? Yeah. I was very bad at Smash 4. Not even there. Did he get there? He did. 33rd. Damn, I bet that was to get out. Nope, because I'd be at 49th. <laughs> oh, wait, no. that Wait, that was in the other game. No, he didn't make it out. That was not out of pools. Okay. I wish I had the whole bracket. 734. I think Sabrick beat him. So if Sabrick is up here, he's not. Never mind. We're all ass. <laughs> Everybody's trash. You got 129th? Oh, my God. Dude, that's not... That's so bad. Oh, my God. You got to understand I was good at Brawl. Oh, man. I wasn't, like, amazing. I wasn't top 80, but, like, that hurts so bad. Just ass ass, bro. Oh. Wow, Tweak 49th. Oh, my God. I didn't know he was that good back then. Zuko was my fucking boy, too. Zuko's a great guy. I liked him a lot. This is the one they cut PM from? <laughs> Hey, bro, need those Nintendo dollar -y dues. Hey, Nintendo might support us, bro. He might. He might. Nintendo might do it. Oh, Zuko's in here. Zuko. Bro. Oh, my God. Zuko's in the fucking chat. That's my guy. I love Zuko, man. Zuko is an old brawlhead. One of the best uh, Lucario players from uh, Tri-State. I didn't realize that you played uh, Smash 4 like that that early. I guess everybody did, but yeah. Damn. It's so cool when I say a name and they just summon in chat. I love that. I stopped after like a year. Yeah, I hated this fucking game. <laughs> I really did not like Smash 4. A lot of people tried to get me with that too. They're like, wow, you commentated, but you don't like it. What do you, why don't you? And I'm like, yeah, I can enjoy playing the game or enjoy watching the game, commentating it, but. I beat Bengals in that uh, ultimate tournament though. <laughs> this picture of Bengals. Ramsey, also cool as shit. Also love Ramsey. He's great. Very funny picture, yeah. Damn, now I'm just reminiscing. Ugh. You guys weren't around for Angel Cortez. His kid was fucking funny. <laughs> he was he was funny. Thank you, Zuko. Thanks for the tier one. He was funny. I don't want to get too far into it because we're already getting stun locked. But Angel made New Jersey a great place, dude. Angel was funny because he would talk so much shit online. But if you beat him in person, he was just like, I, I, I'm, I'm two zero with Angel in Smash games, which is weird because he was better than me. He was, I was better than him at Brawl, and somehow he lost DDD Ice Climbers, so he was ass ass. But he like beat a bunch of Meta Knight players, which is what he was good at because he was Tri State. But I beat him in Smash 4. He was way better than me. I think he was just high as shit. But he wasn't like... 
an asshole about it. I thought he'd be like, you know, wow, you only beat me because I was I was smoking up, blah blah blah. You're you're not good, blah. I knew I wasn't good. I just beat him, Mario Diddy, and he was cool. And I think he won that tournament. <laughs> I think he won that tournament. I sent him in a loser. He ended up. I, I'm not sure, but he was cool, man. He was an asshole online, but it was very funny. He would just write the most incendiary bullshit thing and then say, get exposed, hashtag exposed. You are not good. You will never be good. You abuse a top tier, hashtag exposed. And he would just do that over and over and over for an entire twit longer. People hated him. <laughs> it, was, it was very funny. Day Again, trust me, I was there. A couple of the sets from the circuit actually still exist on YouTube, which is kind of insane. I did not know. Oh, Ike, where are you going? <laughs> I'm surprised people actually preserved the footage. It's pretty impressive. That's crazy. The Nintendo staff started playing We Are the Champions on loud-ass speakers. Oh, my God. They did not have a license to do that. I know they did. I won't lie. But let's get back <laughs> the to the fuck? point. Korean DJ won this week. But does he still own it? No, he definitely doesn't. I don't think anyone knows where this thing is. I think he might. I think he might actually. To be he might still own that I shit. I assume someone has it, but we just don't know. I don't Korean think he would have sold it. I think Korean DJ probably still holds that shit. Korean DJ definitely it. sold it to someone else. Korean DJ is a very cool guy. From the little I talked to him, <laughs> I felt really bad about being so such an asshole and being so salty after losing to him. He's a very nice guy. At some point. Because it ended I up hope in the he's hands doing of some well. random company that's reach out to him. What to, what to see if he has this Wii? Who gives a shit? Rare video game collectibles online. This company tried to sell it on eBay for like twenty thousand dollars. Oh, never mind. So he doesn't have it. But no one bid on it. Yeah, of course they didn't. What the fuck? So it went unsold. That was in 2013. It's 2023. So it's a mystery, and it's into well inflation. Entirely possible. We will never figure out who owns it currently. Might be fifty k now. Even still intact. Now, that's a truly insane console. The Brawl Wii is cool as hell. If it's history, I like it's that, look, yeah. it's hard to match it. But uh -huh. there's one Wii that's even cooler. The Wii that was made specifically for the Queen of England, the Golden Wii. I thought you guys were kidding. That's real? Chat said the Queen's Wii, and I said, ho, 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 funny chat. Ho, 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 very silly indeed. The queen is gaming? Ho, 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 ho. But that's real. I feel like a good amount of people actually already know this is a thing. I, I mean, did not. It's a Nintendo Wii made out of real gold. That's not real gold. That was meant to be given to the queen of England. It's kind of absurd. People have heard about it. You know, people have talked about it. But not everybody knows. Old people did love the Wii. Yeah. Was what actually I bet her ass was bowling. Wii, and it's kind of interesting. So this console was actually made as a huge marketing stunt by THQ, one of the most prestigious game publishers. Now I know that's not real gold. In history, they made games like SpongeBob SquarePants, Lights, Camera Pants, Piglet's Big Game, and De Blob. <laughs> Carlito's funny, bro. So THQ Carlito's being a game funny. That's wanted good. to market their next game that's because funny. they truly believed it would be a hit. A kind of successor to Wii Sports. That game was called Big Family Games. <laughs> this game sucked complete ass. It was just dog. Don't really got to argue about yeah. that one. But okay. you know, THQ thought they yeah. could mask the shit this game reaped by just putting a golden Wii next to it and then giving it to the queen as a publicity stunt. Good with, for of course, her. A copy of Big Family Games. That's not real gold. Like, does real gold look like that? It, it It's so... It, it looks Same plasticky, like, man. The queen of England. It does? I mean, beside the color, chat. Loves it, so you should also buy it. And I feel like you really got to admire the balls THQ had to do this. That aside, I guess. though, they send the golden Wii to the queen in the mail. But uh, guess what? She doesn't even receive it. It was offered Jack because there's some rule against sending the royal family packages. And yeah, oh. that makes sense. So the golden Wii was just sent back to the THQ office and kind of left there. The company oh. THQ would actually end up like dying and it went out of business. Yeah, so one of the workers after, at right? THQ just kept it. No one's going to throw away a Wii plated in real fucking gold, <laughs> right? So after a little while, the guy from THQ actually sold this Wii to a friend. I assume to just get rid of it and make some bread off it. But okay. then that friend sold it to somebody else and then they sold it and it just kind of kept going. This Wii has had quite a few owners. It's been sold in online auctions. The YouTuber really? Professor actually made a video on how he almost bought it for some reason no one wants to hold on to this thing people have just been <laughs> buying it then selling it cursed artifact but yeah. at least the thing is okay to my big family games is on vims word my knowledge this is probably might need to partake in uh in the queen's pleasures see what she missed in my opinion the most legendary console period 
Uh, we made it of real gold sent to the Queen of England, one of a kind. Did that sound weirder than I intention, intended? <laughs> Don't call it that. I, my, you know, I had a better thing lined up. It just didn't work out. I'm, oh, yeah, she did die, didn't she? I mean, that's kind of hard to beat, man. <laughs> the Mario Golf V Jump Cup for Ooh. ESXL. This 3DS is super like clean, super simplistic. All it really is is Mario taking a nice swing. No, with I his like that golf though. Club, Good motion. But it's nice. This was a Japanese exclusive. Is as Mario taking. I was gonna say the first and the third one the same, but a no. nice swing with his little golf club. But it's nice. <laughs> this was a Japanese exclusive console to get this shit. You had to beat the editor in chief scores in the game. If the scores you submitted were console to get this shit, you had to beat the editor. And I have never seen that Luigi render. Oh my god, have you guys ever seen that? Chief scores in the game. If the scores you submitted were better than the editor, you might have gotten the console. Cool. Only five people were actually awarded the 3DS. There's a couple people out there who smashed this dude's record. But, you know, tough luck, buddy. Maybe next time you'll get the 3DS. <laughs> and the other one I'm going to show is the Pokemon Dragon King 3DS. Yeah. A simple Japanese Pokemon tournament to win this one. But damn, dude, the design, the coloring, I it's mean, really well done on it's it. It's pretty. I'm just not a Pokemon guy. Honestly, I feel like this could almost like, pass I get as it. being a real I get 3DS. It. You just could just go to Target me, you know and purchase. Now, there's a lot more 3DSs I could talk about, but most of them are either signed or they drew on it with Sharpie. Ugh. You know, it's cool, but I don't really want to count it. Sure. So, if that disappointed you, I'm going to disappoint you again with the Wii U. I mean, the console failed. You can't blame me for this one. There are, like, two things I could find that are remotely interesting. Uh -huh. And they barely even cut it. Like, here we got the Chibi Robo Photo Finder. A max of five of these things exist. This is the only one to actually be featured in, like, a Nintendo Direct, which is pretty cool. Dude, it's weird that Nintendo was big on this. I know they were on their Apple shit, but they were really trying to do this, like, minimalism kind of, like... You know what I mean? They were, they were really trying to cut back on color... And cool shit, and just try to keep it. I don't know. They had like the white logo too. You know, it's like they still are. Yeah, but I think it's different now. I think that it was like it was so bare bones back then. I think now they're they let themselves like you know extend or reach a little bit, but sterile. Yeah, it was like a like hospital core. You know, you could have weird. won it by having the coolest looking photo in this dumb 3ds chibi robo game. The Wii U is simple, but it's not That guy the is animated. Photo Watch this dumb. dude over here. This is like the whole budget. Yes, is he mo-capped? The Wii U is simple, Ugh. but it's neat. They even print your name on it, so you get a custom Wii U from Nintendo oh, with cool. your own name on it. Damn, you can't sell it, though. That's a pretty cool concept, I think, anyway. Even if there isn't anything else special looking about the thing. Oh, and uh, here's the other Wii U I care to talk about. It looks clean as hell, and there's no denying that. I mean, it's but, red. Man, it's just so boring. What's Exertus Medpi? Is that, like... Medical technology, like hospital tech? Dude, all it is is just a one-of-a-kind red Wii U that was made for some trade show. Looks really cool, but that's it, and that's depressing. Awesome, so I'm going to lighten the mood up a bit and talk about the Virtual Boy, <gasps> the objective hardest Nintendo console miss. <sighs> if you didn't know, this console had a whopping 22 games to play on if you count every <laughs> single region. Bro, Mario Tennis on this went foolish. I will say that. I thought I was in the future. Coney's favorite console, dude. I my mom got this for me, and I thought, I I I, I didn't think it was very good. I did not spend much time playing it, but I thought it was very cool. <laughs> it gave me a bad headache, and it hurt my neck. And everyone just hated this thing. Do you still have it? No, no. I don't know what happened to it. I probably threw it away. I don't know. The only game I had was tennis. I played tennis, and there was. Breakout, maybe? Bomb? Bo something with a bomb? I don't know. It just didn't work. wasn't fun. You could have more fun playing didn't Goosebumps play the Warrior or game. Land for the Wii. Hey, kid! Can you ring my bell? <laughs> Is this like a party And I just found out this took four years to develop. That must have been depressing for oh the developers. Oh my god. Four years for 22 games to be made on it. Dude, if I helped to make this thing personally, I'd retire. <laughs> Though you may be wondering how did the console with only 22 games on it get any kind of console variant? Well, it was kind of made as a joke. There was this TV network called G4. It was just a channel where it focuses oh, purely Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I've never sure. actually heard of this in my life until now. I've never sure. seen anyone talk about this either. Thanks, Zim Jam. So it's really no surprise it failed twice. But when they... Goosebumps for the Wii speedrun when? Unironically, I looked up a speedrun today because I was curious. 
you're gonna think this is a joke. I literally looked this up today. Girl kissing another girl is also gay. Rugrats search okay. for Reptar. I don't know why he started with that. My bad. This game looks very funny. I've never played this. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> so Chucky starts the game without his glasses. Um, and he, you just bump into shit. But I think when he picks up Reptar, it screams. I wish I had my glasses. Rawr! Well, it's really raining, but I don't see any cats or dogs In the, This looks like a hell game. I don't know why. I think I literally, I think if I'm doing forensics, I think I watched that gaming in the Clinton years and the Rugrats thing came up. And it just, this looks like a hell game. There's so much sound. There's like the Reptar yelling and Chucky talking and pop, 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 pop. You hear that? Like, it's just, it sounds like a fucking cavalcade. And I'm like, I kind of want to play this. <laughs> so if you see this on the secret gameplay stream someday, just know why, all right? I might give it a shot. It's apparently two hours long. Even if you do a long play, it's two hours. I might beat it. They were still a thing. They did a little sweepstakes making console variants with this, like, <laughs> gift wrapping type theme. But they also... Please, tonight, listen, I got a bounty to pop uh, at 11. So, if you guys are good, maybe I'll plop it. Well, no, because I got to go to bed because I got to fly. Listen, maybe when I get back, all right? <laughs> Brewing a custom virtual boy, probably for just some sick and twisted. By the way, that reminds me. Hey, guys, if you're going to leave tonight, that's okay. Could you just leave the tab open? I've got a bounty I got to run, which would mean a lot to me because it's, it's a shooting game, and you guys know how that is. I got to play it for an hour. It would really mean a lot to me. You don't have to watch. Just leave the tab open. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody's saying yes. I th Thank you. That means a lot. To joke. So Bro, yeah, always on a flight. My ass is traveling. What do you want? This is the only custom virtual boy to actually be publicly given away, to my knowledge. It looks really disappointing. Oh, yes, is it like the virtual Christmas boy's already red, so it's a really lame variant. No, that sucks. But it's at least cool that a virtual boy variant. It's weird that the color is different. It's gray buttons. Why is it so different? A variant exists. You like, know. did Nintendo help? What I mean. All right, now we're done with all that. You know, we can move on to the Nintendo Switch, the big man himself. Uh huh. The most recent Nintendo console produced that turns seven years old in six months. Oh my god. It's weird to think how long this generation has gone. I guess not the whole generation. I, how far are we into the PS5, bro? Because I ain't got no games. My ass still ain't got no games. 2019? Three years, so it's 2020? Okay. I'm going to be completely honest here. This thing has outsold the Nintendo Wii at this point. It's so crazy to me that the PS2 is, like, so far ahead. Oh, my God. If I'm Nintendo, I'm fuming that we didn't get number one. I'd be so mad. I might release another DS. Fuck it. <laughs> release another DS tomorrow. The PS4 was a seven-year cycle. Was it really? Jeez. It's because uh, PS2 DVD player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's why a lot of people bought it. Good for the Switch, though. Damn. Where's Xbox? These Xbox fans. So this console has just the Xbox most random certainly. shit known to man. There's so many Switch variants that I can fucking jump scare you with pictures of Switches. That scary? Ah! I hope you made you shit yourself. The Odd World Strangers Wrath. Wait, that's real. I thought you were kidding. Nintendo Switch. This is probably the weirdest thing in this video, and I talked about the Orange Soda Game Boy earlier. <laughs> I just wish it had some really cool. I thought you were kidding. Storyline and backstory, but of course it was just given away as per fucking usual. With Dude, I wish Odd World was cool. Odd World is such a cool idea and like a world. It's like one of my favorite gaming worlds, but the games just are not that good. That remake just came out and it was just not fun. It's just kind of boring. These things. I but wish I they love just did the something world that it is. You know what I mean? Cooler, man. If I didn't have information on this thing and you told me that I had to do some kind of blood pact or ritual to get my hands on this thing, I probably would have believed you. <laughs> but now you already kind of get how out there stuff for this system is. Some of them only is customize more? the dock itself, like this one, which is actually Bob World is cool. not Abe's Odyssey, right? It is. I love Abe's Odyssey, but like that's on PS1, right? They made a bunch of games, but... It's Diva's mech, but as... Oh, that's a Switch! Oh! Oh, I didn't even see the Switch in there. 
Switch dock custom oh. controller too. I mean, it's just really impressive looking. There's so much. I mean, I guess cool it's stuff. just a figurine with a hole cut in it. Can you do this with literally any figure? Like this, it's a fan but none yeah. of them really like it's tell a me a full story, bro. I won't lie, like, the main thing that piqued my interest was the Bitcoin miner switch of all things. <laughs> yeah, that time when everyone on the internet was gaslit into thinking a cooking mama game would mine crypto on your little Mario system. Yeah. To my knowledge, it never mined shit. It was just a weird-ass cooking mama game. Oh. Well, it got its own limited edition switch. Oh. This baby is a one-of-a-kind console. Wait, so it didn't mine Bitcoin? It did. I did. <laughs> I mean, it's a switch game. How is the switch mining Bitcoin? But I, I just thought it was a fake game. Like, they didn't have the license or whatever. Somebody just pretended to make a Cooking Mama game. I don't know how the fuck this works. Given away on the official story. Cooking Mama TikTok. Now, that would be it. But I actually found something interesting while looking into this console here. Uh -huh. The TikTok account that gave this away used to be called at Cookstar Cooking Mama. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Her marketing is pretty much just the name of the game. Sure. But they ended up changing their account name to just at Cookstar. So they could advertise their new game, Yum Yum Cookstar. <gasps> No way. Bleaching off the brand name? They straight up killed Cooking Mama. That's cr- It's the same game. All the Bitcoin mining allegations actually caught up to them, so they only sold like two copies of the game. Pissed off with all this shit attached to their new Cooking Mama. They just made the same game again, <laughs> but then removed Mama. So Wait, is Cooking Mama a Nintendo franchise? I guess not. I always thought Cooking Mama was like second party. But it's not. It's, okay. It's just associate. All right, Mama's dead. You wouldn't realize it's the same game. Uh. And looking at the likes on these TikToks, <laughs> my guess is that this actually did work, and they sold about probably eight copies this time is my rough estimate. Okay. Now, I'm here sitting down looking at more of these consoles, right? And, man, there's just so much of this random crap. Sure. That's just rare because they didn't bother making more of one Ooh. of these consoles. Wait, is that? That just looks like a fan-made project. You can't tell me some of this stuff is really cool, man. Of oh, course you got the funny. random bangers, like the Xenoblade Switch. Sure. But that's kind of it. It's kind of I mean, pretty. To yeah. be honest, at this point of time we're in, it, it makes sense for most things to just be sweepstakes or giveaways. But it doesn't feel as special anymore. No. It happens with 90% of systems, even that's if true. the system does look really cool. Oh, I mean, that's cool. I mean, the person who earned it just fucking retweeted your dumbass tweet. The people who fought for stupid shit like the Luigi's Mansion Cube you had to earn or it. bankrupt companies making Nintendo Wii's for political figures. Sure. That time's kinda closed, I feel. But don't get me wrong, I mean, it completely makes sense if you host a tournament, people want money. Give them some fucking money they earned. <laughs> I guarantee you they do not want your dumbass switch. Dude. And and definitely not a controller, right? <laughs> Definitely not a pro controller. This right. kind of stuff has always been cool you know to me, what I'm though. saying? Even if you don't care about what game the system was based Definitely on. Definitely not that. They were always kind of special to even exist, you know what I mean? But the time is <laughs> over, and it's kind of okay that the time is over. At the end of the day, thinking about it, looking at these, rarity has kind of been the last thing I cared about in my mind. I showed a lot of different systems, and a good amount of them were one-of-a-kind consoles. But dude, who cares? Sure, it's rare to the world, and that holds a monetary value, but I personally think the cooler kind of value is what looking at the system does for you. Uh -huh. If you're genuinely happy to own it, and just looking at a coat of paint can give you that dopamine rush that you so desire, then that's truly a rare console. Not every piece of hardware can give you joy by just looking at it. So I hope today I spread at least a little bit of that joy to you by that's looking at some sweet. dumbass variants on the internet yet very again. Very sweet ending. I'll see you around, man. Thank you, Carlito. Thanks for the video. Another Carlito banger, as is so often the case. We love Carlito here. And hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, you got some homework to do. I'm not going to watch all these videos for you. Hey, if you like this video, I demand you check out everything about Klungo. Yes, that's right. His video, everything about Klungo. So you can find out about his favorite game, Banjo-Tooie. If you've already seen that, unfortunately, he has no more videos. There's nothing else for you to watch. But there's more here, so subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, YouTube. So long. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I don't know if this is going on YouTube, but it might. <laughs> He's all out of videos. There's nothing else to watch. 
I actually have a bit of a story with this. So in terms of contests, and I've told this story on my stream before, um, but uh, so back in the GameCube era, there was a boxing game that was uh, in the same vein of Ready to Rumble and Punch Out and all that stuff. Uh, it's called Black and Bruised. All right. It looks like this. It's like a cartoon boxing game. I rented this from Blockbuster, and I loved it. Like, I loved this game a lot. I remember this cover. Yeah, I, I loved this game a lot. Looks like shit. I don't think it was good. <laughs> but I for some reason, I was always into, like, uh, cartoon sports games. I don't know, cartoon boxing, cartoon racing, like a anything that was like uh, a sports game but with like some kind of twist, right? And they had a contest. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's probably, you can't find it anymore. They had a writing contest where you had to write fanfic about like a fight between two characters. And uh, the winner got, like, a stand-up of it. Hold on. I don't even know how to put it. It was like this limited edition standee of the thing. Just like one of those things they would put at GameStop or whatever. But also, like, a, a mobile GameCube. I had, like, a mobile GameCube with, like, a screen in the door. Um, Maybe it was just, like, a latch-on or attachment. But it was a GameCube with, like, a little screen on it. Hold on. GameCube with mobile screen. Oh, th this, maybe? Hold on. I don't know if it was the whole GameCube or just the monitor, maybe? Yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe I got a GameCube, too. Either way, I won the competition, and uh, a year later, I think I just threw everything away. So... <laughs> I was like, when did Black and Bruised come out? Uh, 2003, so I was 14, and I won, and I was like, cool, and then I just didn't have a place to put the stand, so I just <laughs> threw it away. Do you still have the fanfic? No. I'm sure it exists somewhere. It's, a, it's, just, it's literally just uh, the story of the game. It, it was just this guy beating up on the bad guy. That's all it was. But I think nobody else wrote in because who the fuck was playing Black and Bruised? And they're like, hey, there's a 14-year-old kid writing fanfic. Let's give it to him. <laughs> that That's literally all it was. And I won the contest. So you've lost like $20,000 worth of antique items you could have sold today. I wouldn't say that. Who the fuck is going to play for uh, pay for a black and bruised standee? You guys didn't even know about this game before I told you about it. You've never heard of this. I would go into Blockbuster and I would see this. I'd be like, damn, that shit looks heat, actually. <laughs> that looks fire, bro. I'm trying to play that. I don't know why I was into it. Did you guys know that they found that Mario thing? I don't remember if it... I don't think it was a Carlito video. That Mario the Koopa show, somebody found a full episode of that. Come, when are we making our scuff tournament to win a Game Boy? That's what I'm trying to hear. Dude. Who, we gotta get somebody to make a Game Boy. If I could get... I bet it's not that expensive. I bet I could pay a guy $1,000 to make a one-of-a-kind Game Boy, and then you and me run a tournament. And we gotta make it, like, not just competition. Just be, like, first to get... 50 bananas in Donkey Kong Country and then <laughs> like like in N64 you have to uh I don't know get to the beat tricky uh beat the dinosaur beat triceratops in Diddy Kong Racing right just like weird ass strange qualifier you know what I mean like each banana is 100,000 points Come up with very specific things. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm actually down. That sounds fun. Don't tell them the game in advance. Yeah, yeah. Banjo-Tooie beat Canary Mary, right? Something like that. I'd be down for that. That sounds funny. Just a shitty Game, uh, game Boy that we paid somebody to make fancy. I'd be down for that.
Coney and Carlito World Championships. C C N C W C. First to break their Banjo Tui cart. Don't give them any anything to break it with. Just break this cart now. First person that I see the circuit board wins. That would be funny. I will be there no matter what. <laughs> Coney, check out this switch. Okay. My OLED switch has burned. What? Did he coat it with cheese? Is that Asiago cheese? Did he fry it? No, that's rust. But the switch is not metal. <laughs> Fried to perfection. That shit look tasty. Dorito switch. That shit cool ranch. I wonder if it still works. It might. You know how Nintendo is, bro. You guys hear about that Game Boy? Corroded? How does that corrode, though? There's nothing to corrode, man. Ugh. <laughs> That's gross. Pikmin treasure. <laughs> how, yeah, how, what even causes this? Maybe the battery exploded. It looks too perfect, though, right? With the With the controller, like, slightly up like that. Doesn't that look a little staged, right? All right, fellas. Now, listen. I need you to hear me out. <laughs> you can't be mad at me. Okay? You're not allowed to be mad at me. All right? So... I told you I was done. I said I would stop. But then today... <laughs> they posted the top 10 hardest fighting games. And like... Melee's on the thumbnail. <laughs> Melee's on the fucking thumbnail, man. It's only one. It's just one. It's just one. It's just one. Do they think Melee is the hardest game ever made? Let's find out with WatchMojo.com. <laughs> I have to know. I have to know. It's Welcome not a five-hour stunt. Welcome to WatchMojo. And today, we're counting down... Yeah, they got free-for-alls, too. Our picks it's just one, I swear. Hardest fighting, hardest fighting game, game ever. That's all I want to know. <laughs> Left here, please. For this list, we'll be looking at the toughest fighting games to master due to their complex mechanics and varied rosters. There's no way it's DBFC, right? As always, right? we're only including Surely one not. entry per franchise. I Which heard of this these game do you bad. think is the biggest challenge? Is there one we left off? There's no Let way DBFC is even on this comments. list. Number 10, Dead or Alive 6. <laughs> glasses or no glasses? It may be the That's franchise an option for that everybody? gave the world of gaming jiggle physics and its female combatants, but that doesn't mean Dead or Alive isn't a competent fighting franchise. I told you guys my story about uh, we had a kid on our block that owned uh, Dead or Alive volleyball, but he did not own an Xbox. He just wanted to read the manual. And I don't know if my friends were making fun of him and they made a joke. I never asked him, but apparently that that was a real thing. Team Ninja's sixth main installment He was rich is The most violent in the series he owned a Which is fitting considering how tough it can be When going up against other players It actually introduced new mechanics Designed with newcomers in mind Like simply Rich with no Xbox I think he didn't have it yet I think he was getting one for Christmas So he bought it for his birthday Which was in like October Combos and I extended think. juggling The developer leaned in into this easy to pick up, tough to master angle to make DOA 6 I an guess. E sports title. Is DOA but when hard? You give easier mechanics to a fighting game pro, that just lets them unleash their fury quicker. Can you make DOA now? I feel like DOA is just like, how do you do it without just being Tekken? Or just any 3D fighter, right? I feel like Tekken has kind of cornered the market. 
DOA is hard. These people are dumb as fuck. <laughs> they lost? Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Uh, Soul Calibur came out, and people just forgot about that, too. Soul Calibur dropped, like, a new one, and people were like, all right, it's done. But I guess that's, like, the normal cycle of most fighting games. Mortal Kombat dropped, and, like, it... Oh, God, I forgot to tell that guy what I thought of Mortal Kombat. I'm at the, are you still here? You're not here. I think it looks great. I think the presentation is great, and it looks fantastic. If you're on the animation team, whatever, I think you did a great job. I did. I don't think you're still here. I feel really bad. It just looked like I laughed. Mortal Kombat, I think, looks good. It just... I was mad at them for not getting me the key. <laughs> I'm still fucking waiting. <laughs> now I feel bad. They left. Uh, I think th there's something to Mortal... I'm gonna do this. There's something to Mortal Kombat presentation that is, like, my my favorite uh, thing about that game. Like, the little banter in between rounds, uh, the fact that characters, like, will split up um, after a round. Like, they'll just walk away from each other. Although, I don't know why sometimes they stand still. Do you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes they just keep... They, they don't move. They're like... I'm trying to think of how to put this. Like, you'll win a round, and the character won't back up, and you start the next round right next to each other in Mortal Kombat. Depends how close they are to the opponent. I thought it was quarter base, but I was watching it with my friend last night, and it's not. I was like, oh, the closer they are to the center, the closer they stay. But if you're in the corner, you don't want to stay in the corner, so they're going to push you. But that's not true. I don't know how it works. I think Mortal Kombat is really neat. I like the way it presents itself. Their fury quicker. <laughs> Number nine, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Ah, we're going the other way, huh? Okay, all right. Okay, sure. Fine with me. What if Ultimate's numbered like three? Oh. <laughs> it was on the thumbnail, dude. He's using MMA footage. There's a very good reason <laughs> the second Smash has been kept thriving by fans as a competitive, competitive fighting game. Flip. It was such a leap one forward from the flip. first in terms of, well, everything. But for the purposes of this list, the mechanics were miles ahead in both speed and complexity. Nintendo never intended for it to be a clip. part of the competitive scene, That's Master Hand. and so difficulty to master that is depends a on certain self-imposed rules. If you face a <laughs> Smash player with no items on Final Destination, oh, that's when that, you'll yeah. figure out if you truly know how to control your main. Sure, it comes yeah. down to perfecting your fighter's moves while being able to read the rest of the giant roster at incredible speeds. Wow, they really nailed it. They killed it on that. Yep, they they understand. They get it. They do. You know what? I agree with them. Number nine of all time. I agree. Number eight. No items FD posting in 2023. Eight. Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4. I mean, this shit is kind of hard, though. 4 is kind of hard, right? This game is hard. While any player could find the original yeah. Street Fighter's stiff mechanic. Is that a dog? What the fuck is Ryu where? What is going on in the world of Street Fighter skins? If mechanics what? frustrating to say the least. That's Ryu's dog. Oh. At least the fourth okay. game actually. They're in like Africa. Is that a wild dog? Actually requires skill. Huh? And quite a bit of it if you want to face other players. With nearly a decade in between main entries, Capcom transitioned the famed series Third to the Strike is so much harder than four, is it? I see a lot of people talk about Third Strike, but then I also see a lot of people like saying that like you know, the, the obsession with Third Strike is uh, astroturfed, you know? Modern era while bringing along staple features. The result was a game almost universally praised. And with that Third came strike players is be that first, wanted to perfect maybe. their skills. Most characters in Street Fighter Four are ridiculously well balanced, but with a are multitude they? of combos, yeah. some of which are incredibly difficult to pull off even in story mode. Wait, it's one per franchise? Did they say that? <gasps> So this is the hardest one. Objectively. It's no wonder. Wait, then what's number one? 
Virtua Fighter. Where it had competitors breaking out. Virtua Fighter's sticks, number one. Send nor it. that Capcom released several versions. Number seven, Skullgirls. With gameplay inspired by game. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, stunning hands-drawn visuals, and over a decade's worth of support and tweaks, Skullgirls... I was gonna say, can we change characters? But there's no characters we could change to. Skullgirls <laughs> has become one of the most beloved fighters of I the guess, modern uh, era. I guess, Beowulf Across its now 18 <laughs> <And Big Band. laughs> characters, yeah. players can fight solo or in teams of Peacock, two yeah, or okay. three. It features a bit more balance than its inspiration, which means it's a bit tougher to do well against a player that really knows what they're doing. Gameplay is exceptionally quick-paced, and every character has a variety of unique, often over-the-top moves that can easily become combos. Is it weird to say I think this game is ugly? I know that's hater shit. I mean now, in 2023. I, it, I feel like it looks very dated for the time period that it came out. That's all. Just being dated, yeah. Weird, not ugly? Yeah, no, that's probably a better way to put it. Ugly is a strong word. Yes, it is clearly it's clearly very well made and it's 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 very pretty. It's it just looks dated to me, that's all. Oh, Coney likes AI art. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I just wish this whole game was in AI. And I also wish you would subscribe because in five seconds we're gonna get ads. Bye. Ads are coming right now, and I got no snoozies. Drop an ad right now with Twitch Prime. Drop a Prime right now, or I'm going to drop ads. Drop a Twitch Prime right now. It's a free way to subscribe to the stream. Just go below the stream and hit the button to subscribe with the Twitch Prime. Otherwise, you have a Tier 1 subscription. They're a quarter off for September. Go ahead and use that. It's like a dollar off, and just go below the stream and hit the button to subscribe, and you're going to be able to do that. It's going to be fantastic. If you don't want to do that, you could wait for the gift sub, because on Thursday, I think gift subs are half off, so maybe you'll catch a gift bomb. I don't know. September is almost over. Go ahead and subscribe right now. Thanks. Ask me about my weenie hut. See, they followed the instructions. They primed right now for free. Thank you, Godoy, for the five. A common Godoy five. Classic Godoy five. Thank you. Skull girls. It's so weird that September, like, they gave away way too much, way too early. <laughs> and they had to, like, they had to dial that back. It's like old Steam sales. Where the games were so cheap, and they like they they just gave away way too much, and now they're like trying to make it compelling, but always had tremendous competitive potential, and finally got to play just with no the way big to make boys it work. when it was added to Evo in 2022. Person was 50 percent off any subs. Yeah, and I mean like if you have the 3.5 to 1.5 split, you could just buy them for yourself at a dollar five each. So a lot of people would do that and, like, have crazy inflated sub numbers at that time. Bad frame? Oh my God. There is no good frame here, man. There's no good frame. Number six, Dragon Ball <laughs> Fighter Z. Harder than any Street Fighter game. Harder than any Street Fighter game ever made. Lock it in. Harder than Melee. Yeah, that's true. Or any other Smash. One per franchise. Harder than any Smash game. There are few IPs better suited to the fighting genre That's than good. Dragon Ball Z. And while the franchise has seen more than its fair share of entries, the 2018 All Out Brawl is definitely the strongest, which means it's also the hardest to master. Players choose uh, three characters from across the franchise's uh, history and duke it out. Where's Mortal Kombat gonna end up? That's a good question. You know it's on here. It's probably all the, like, super uh, famous ones. So it's probably, like, Tekken. Tekken might be number one. I think Virtua Fighter is going to be number one. While pretty much any MK10. combination of buttons <laughs> results in some kind Marvel, of mighty yeah, blast Marvel, or super-powered yeah. punch, Tekken, Marvel, button mashing will only Mortal Kombat. get you so far. Only yeah. those with lightning-fast reflexes have the Fighter, ability man. to I react do. to the overwhelming power radiating between Injustice. fighters. It also got plenty of post-launch support, including lots of new characters to get used to. Yeah, that's th to get used to. Get used to that 21 shit. Right here. Number five, Blaze Blue. 
Central Fiction. I, yeah. No way that counts. Some guilty fighting gear too, games right? are hard simply for the number of mechanics you need to keep track of. Blaze Blue Central Fiction is a 1v1 2D fighter like many others. There are too Blue's many characters in fighting games. I'm sick of this shit, man. It's gross. It's just too much. That's why I like Mortal Kombat 1. It's like kind of small. It's like 25 characters. Central Fiction is a 1v1 2D fighter like many others. But you'd be mistaken for thinking that simplifies things. Not only are there 36 are playable appealing. fighters worth of I, moves I mean, to yeah, study to and most learn, people, I think. but most like characters move entirely at the casual differently. Level. From jumping I get to floating to rosters. teleporting. They also have different ways to block Coney different attacks. Coney loves less content. I and literally all those do. Different yeah. attacks can be <laughs> I like smaller games. Don't connect, which means you need to get really good at reading your opponent. All that on top of the different gauges that result in different abilities at different levels. <laughs> he just said there are mechanics and characters, and you have to learn them and read your opponent. You could, I think, you could take the stuff in the middle and apply it to any other game. Number four, The King of Fighters 2002. Really? The King of Fighters series has Man, been I'll around listen. for a long time. Let's see what he has to say. more than a few tough to master entries. But for our money, the one that offers the biggest challenge is the 2002 installment. His ass has not played the 2002 installment. I know his ass hasn't. His ass was not playing King of Fighters 2002. With an impressive raw Ow, my eyes. You don't like the way- You know what's fucked up? I said Skullgirls is ugly. I like the way this game looks. I think we need a little bit more uh, differentiation between the foreground and the background. But I like- I, I, I like these games. I think they look great. SNK sprites are beautiful. What's wrong with your eyes? Listen, I agree. I agree. It needs, like, more foreground and background shit. But I just love, uh, I, I don't know, something about the SNK style I love. You're just saying that because your boy's on screen? Who, Billy Kane? Or Duck King? I got a lot of boys. A lot of people I like. My actual character in this game was Ralph. I'm a Ralph the I think he was in this one. I had that combo pack that was like, uh, it had two games. It was on the PS2. Challenge is the 2002 Clark, installment. With an impressive roster. Oh my god, there he is. That's my boy right there. <laughs> It's my fucking guy. There's a character named Whip also that uses a whip, which is really weird. Of 44 fighters, there are plenty of challengers too to many, study too many and characters. perfect. Figuring out their combos King of Fighter. Oh, there's my fucking guy. He beat his ass, Ralph. Being over boom, two decades boom, boom. Old, did it make its mechanics less forgiving? We know this because unlimited King of Fighters match, characters kind of suck though. That like, added 22 like character characters wise, you know what I mean? Tweaks to gameplay is still just like hard dudes. as hell when playing competitively. Okay. Yamazaki clears. He, that better not be the dude with the hair. He better not have big guile hair. Oh wait, no, that's Benny Morrow. Oh yeah, the crazy guy. Woo! Yeah. Really trying to defend his bad takes, Link. On that Brian Fury shit. The crazy dude. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? Huh? It was just a tackle? Is that me running from you? Is that what the... This is me escaping the horde. Look at 14. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how he could have stopped that. I think the other guy made a good play. I think he j he was just going to get on the outside. I don't know sports. I don't know what I'm looking at. He missed? Oh, I see. He wanted to go for 39. He wasn't getting past this anyway. I see. He wasn't getting past this shit anyway. There's a big wall right there. AOF is a demanding series, and 2002 stands as its peak in difficulty. I think that was PS2. Dude, that video of the uh, the Nintendo bracket um, had horrendous watch time when it came out. Like, 
god awful. People hated it. But then over time it went back up. It was really bad. Vince was like, I don't think we put up any more videos about like your opinions. I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, this shit, you got to see it. It's bad. People hated that. And I was like, all right, who cares? Who cares? It's, 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 it. and it did like seven out of 10. It didn't do great, but. Number three, Under Night and Birth. This shit hard. <laughs> It may not have as famous of a name as some others, but that should in no way discount Under Night and Birth. This one That's what you get for being donkey pilled. First off, I was born first. Donkey is coney pilled. Let's make that abundantly clear, okay? Let's just make that 100% clear. Being a scrimblow guy is not donkey pilled. I was here first. All right? You do have a lot of donkey takes. Just because we agree, we happen to agree on stuff. What do you want me to say? We had the same upbringing, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. An anime-inspired fighter may seem like many others from the outside looking in. However, it requires a more tactical mind if you want to be victorious. Tony is like a less coherent and paler donkey. I'm less coherent because I'm streaming. Have you ever watched his streams? If I condense my thought, you should watch me on YouTube. On YouTube, I am lucid as hell. Front to back, very articulate, very comprehensive. I, I am, I am, I, 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 everything that comes out of my mouth is pristine. Yes. On Twitch, I'm a, I'm XQC. I'm a fucking train wreck. Brain is, is like a dog with eight equidistant food bowls, eight different things to discuss and eat over your enemies the element i also quit league just like donkey that's true and that gives you more balls <laughs> i did to quit league. is the G but i did that after him Art. i was gonna say when did i first quit league but yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> okay i want you to know i watched that clip of you dying in f099 and i took great joy in seeing your suffering okay i want you to know that when you perished in that game immediately before the finish line, I want you to know I received a great boost of dopamine. D meter. Seeing that happen. There's about 5,000 more where that came from. Dude, have you finished a Grand Prix, Barb? Because I keep entering Grand Prix and I keep playing for first and I keep dying. <laughs> Every single time I'm like, oh, okay, I've won multiple? Okay. Dude, whenever I play a Grand Prix, I, I, my brain is like, I'm, my brain is like, okay, I just have to get top 80. If I just sit back, I'll get top 80. Who cares? I'll just win the end. But my, my heart is like, I got to boost. I got to boost. I need first. I need first. I've been in third and I just boost and die. And then I get to play Lucky Bumper. Yeah. Cody, have you even won a mini pre? I think I finished one mini pre. <laughs> People are way too sweaty now. I bet it's not fun anymore. Yeah. That's a game you got to play early. If you don't play the first few days, everybody is now A rank and just a fucking monster. How do you get back to it? It's still fun. I, I, I did see there's like a there's a skip on one of the levels that cuts out like half a second. It's like a jump or whatever. I don't know how many people are taking it though, but I want more ninety nine games, bro. Please. This can be used in a variety of ways, both White offensively Land, one skip, and defensively, yeah. both broad and specific <laughs> to jump. each character. And if you use Bro, it I forgot to hit the jump your car. People never even saw that clip. Oh. Properly, it can result you in can a even positive outcome your for car. your opponent. The developers have released several versions over the years, refining the challenging mechanics for pros to sink their teeth into. Number two. Guilty Gear X2. I played this shit. It's not that bad. Why is it WarioWare 99 a thing? Oh my god, you should you should call Nintendo now. You should call Nintendo right now. You gotta call somebody. That's a good ass idea. Wario 99 would go crazy. Cause it could just be like the first game, the micro games. 99 is too much. 50 would be better. I mean, any amount. Wario, wear number. 
Nintendo Online with fast-paced minigames. I think it's fine. You don't have to... Because you don't have to be in the same game. You just have a, a yes or no. Either the person passed or they didn't. It's all client-side. You could have WarioWare 10 million. Because it doesn't need to be in real time. You know what I'm saying? How would you interact with other players? Uh, there's got to be a way to do it. I don't think you have it as like sophisticated as they did on the GameCube or whatever, but there's a way to do it. F-Zero uses actual servers? They do? I guess they have to, yeah. Okay. I know it's rollback or whatever, because people just zoom the fuck past me sometimes. Not rollback, but whatever. Blaze Blue isn't the yeah, only let Nintendo figure it out. Whatever. Series Arc <laughs> Not my job. Has yeah. under its belt. While some of the newer entries are more accessible, Guilty Gear X2 is meant for the true champions. It comes with all the trappings that make other franchises from the developer tough, but with unique meters that require proper use and idea above guy all, strikes again. patience. It's a good the idea. The tension gauge fills or lowers depending on how aggressive you are against an opponent. Coney, I love this game. Do you know about RoboKai? I played this game competitively, I think. If this is the one on the Xbox, I get mixed up because there's like plus R, X2, XX. I think I played XX, not X2, unless X2 and XX are the same thing. Reload on Xbox? Yeah. Uh, I played Chip. I don't know why I played Chip, but I played Chip. XX is X2? Yeah, so I played this game. I loved it. I played Chip, Slayer, and Venom. Venom! which lets you, you perform would? a number of different what does that techniques. Mean? There's also the burst gauge, which fills throughout the fight and can interrupt combos. Is Tekken With number one? These, Probably, it's yeah. All about knowing I thought Virtua Fighter, like, I thought Watch On Mojo would be a little bit more, about each uh, I don't know, individual go for the deep controls. cut, you know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> I still, like, vividly remember the music in this game, though, because I played it in my car a lot. I burned a CD. With every song in this game. So good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring and the I know bell it's good to get on all the games about our latest videos. Best Guild Gear music this day. I mean, I think so, but I haven't played them, so. or all of them. Dude, I don't really like the music in Strive that much. Like, it's good, but I'm not really... The only one I like is Drift and Bridget. And that's like it, just those two. The rest are good, I just don't like them myself. You know what I mean? I could tell people like them, but... It's all vocal. I think that's it. I'm not really a vocal guy, you know? If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Johnny's theme is sick. I don't Number think I've one, heard that one yet. Tekken, yeah, Tekken 7. Tekken 7. Oh, that's the newest one. Yeah, I was going to say, not Tekken 8. I'm so stupid. KO. Not the newest? Round two. All right, Tekken 7. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Tekken okay. has long been considered Death, one of the totally. most technical fighting franchises around. While anyone can pick it up and play, there's a surprising amount of strategic depth for those willing to dive into it. Nowhere in these games yeah, is no that Marvel. more true than Tekken huh. 7. Despite not and being no quite as mention. flashy as other fighters, that certainly well, well, well. doesn't make it simple. On top of the Marvel easy as shit, the according to Mojo. For, the game added I got new DBFC. features I guess that DBFC require skillful over planning, yeah. like Maybe the DBFC hit absorbing is power yeah. crush mechanic. Bandai Namco has also refined game? and yeah. balanced the game through numerous updates, making it an entry that does the Tekken name proud. It's no wonder it's been a major player at EVO for years. Tekken got too many moves, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at that Tekken move list, I'm like, it's too many moves. I'm not trying to do all those moves, bro. <laughs> like, Mortal Kombat has it, too, with their, like, command normals. I'm like, bro, that is too many moves. Stop it. You only need ten? Is that true? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other Ten clips. worst video game... Okay, I wish I could turn that off. Ten worst video game openings of all time. I right, maybe I, I just want I just want to see what number one is not the whole thing. Wait, really? Final Fantasy 13. Really? I'm not watching the whole thing. I'm not watching it. Superman. Yup. 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 
the fight through rings. Dude. Yeah, this one's pretty bad. Driver's bad. Driver's bad. Yeah. What is this? Is this Akari Warriors or whatever? I don't know what this is. Yes, it is. Damn, I'm nice. Dude, Driver is funny. I want it, dude. I, I, I'm still so mad I never got to do this stream. So a long time ago, um, on the PS2, there was a game called Stuntman, which is so funny. Because it's made by the people that made Driver, I think. But instead of Driver, you do, like, movie stunts. But it doesn't work on an emulator. This game is so fucking funny. It's so funny to play. It's very hard. <laughs> I want to play it so bad. I could probably get it working. I got to try again. You just play the game and the guy just keeps saying, Hit the boxes. <laughs> I remember you wanting this so bad. I still do. Hit the boxes. Overtake. What do you mean overtake? Overtake. Hit the boxes. Man. Kari Zero. Warriors. Even I beat this game. I don't know why. I thought it was cool that they made a Mortal Kombat beat em up. Yep, Kingdom Hearts 2. Yep, yep. My wife tried to play this game and she said, Where's Sora? And then she stopped playing it. Yep, dog shit game. Jet Set. Oh, Future. No, regular? What are you talking about? One of the about? worst things a video game opens. This game looks like dog shit now. Jesus. Can do is fail you during the tutorial. Jet Set Radio puts you in the shoes, or rather skates, of a member of a Tokyo-based game. The vibrant art style paired well with the light. This looks ugly. Mechanics as you tap. This looks good. This here, that. Act walls and avoid getting caught. Unfortunately, there was a major difficulty hump to get over first. The tutorial requires you to complete 21 different tasks before you can move on. <laughs> That guy is awful. <laughs> Each one grows in ridiculousness, and if you mess a single thing up, you have to start that task over. The final one forces you to complete a 50 trick combo before landing, and you'll have to memorize the level's layout just to stand a chance. Is that true? I think these games are easy, right? I don't think these games are hard. <laughs> And not even like a not even like a gamer flex way. I just don't. I feel like these games are not hard. Fallout Three is number one. It has to be. Well, I don't know. Fallout Three was really good your first time. I played this a month ago. It's not true. Okay. <laughs> Sweet rolls. Phantom Pain. Oh, it's very long. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. There's one that I saw. There's one that I saw. There's one that I saw. Last one, I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear it's the last one. Hold on. Wait. It was in the recommended. I don't know when it got posted. Hardest Switch games? No. Hold on. Last one. Banned from school for stupid... <laughs> Why am I watching? Okay. we're de Hold on. One more. No, I can't. Okay, not this, but hold so, on. Hold on. What's the so hardest boss in an easy one. game? Taboo. Oh. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Was he hard? He just had the insta kill move. This iteration of Smash. Spike and Spyro never played that. Whitney, Mill Tank. Okay, sure. That's the a meme. Presentation. Don't know what this is. Uh. Grew popular by a Samson oh, and Dead Rising. This is not an easy game. Dead Rising is hard as shit. We need guns. Dead with ease. This game is hard and annoying. But us five phases. Grunty, yep, fuck that fight. Tough not to hard, it's just long. During yep, okay, them. sure. First, she yep. In front of all those old pictures. Clockwork is annoying. Yep, Ender Dragon. Don't it's, really it's, know about that. I didn't play that. Top ten surprise bosses you weren't expecting to fight. Number one, God. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. We're done. We're done. I'm good. I got it. I got it. I was curious. I was curious. I'm out of the spell. I broke the spell. I broke the spell. Don't worry. We're good. I just had to see. 
You know what I'm saying? I was curious. That's all. We're good. <laughs> One more? No. <laughs> We're done. We're good. But that means it's time for me to tell you about the first descendant. That's right, the first descendant. The crossplay demo beta is available right now on Steam. It's a looter shooter that I can't wait to get my hands on. And we're all going to play it together. Hey, remember, if you guys download it, you might be able to play with me. If you guys want to play together, let's go ahead and check it out. And hey, if you're not interested, that's okay. Don't forget to drop that prime on your way out, okay? All right, fellas. Drop that Prime or that Tier 1. We're going to be playing the First Descendant for just a little bit. Trying out the crossplay beta. And remember, you could play it on a bunch of different systems. That's what crossplay means. Just so you know, it's a crossplay. The First Descendant is a uh, next generation third person looter shooter. And it's crossplay open beta is going on right now. You can join this, uh, the test on Steam, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series, and Xbox One. It has charming and unique characters where you can select various characters with unique concepts and battle styles. Various custom options are also planned, including skins for characters for decorations. And I'm going to tell you a lot more in just a bit. Let's try it out. I'm going to agree to the privacy policy, and then I'm going to hide my stuff because I think... It might break. It, oh my god, the frame rate. Holy. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. We gotta fix these options. Oh, oh it's because we're compiling shaders. We're doing the shader compilation. Okay, yeah. Sure. Dude. How heavy are the shaders? Hold on. Maybe if I don't capture screen and I capture the... G oh, my God. This is crazy. It is not a Bitcoin miner. This is a game, a cross-play beta that you can play right now. Come on, everybody. Hop on. Stick to the strip code. I saw Shut up. Everything. All right, let's try it out. It's loud. Uh, hold on. How do I change options? <laughs> All right, let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. Viesa, Le Epic, or Ajax? Oh, I go Ajax. Leave it to me. I Defense will leave it. My forte. Oh wait, he's a shield guy? Shield recovery, out of combat, max shield, active skill. Displays excellent leadership, but rarely reveals his true feelings. Okay, I will choose that descendant. My first descendant. Edgy <laughs> streamer, shut up. He looks cool. Look at his horns. Aren't those cool? Oh my god, my frame rate. Jeez. I gotta turn it down. But that's just the graphical quality and fidelity you're gonna find. <laughs> the first descent. Oh, so, do you know what the All right, looks hold like? on, hold on. Hold we'll on. We'll know when we see it. We're turning it down. Come on, hurry up. Hold on. The graphics. Let's put that. That's not even on ultra. That's on high. Let's put that shit on medium, okay? Now, I hate to do it. In a, is it still? Dude. Huh? Hold on. How do I? D no way you go to low, right? Oh, wait, can I go to... Oh, it's on unlimited frame rate. Why does it do that, dude? It's still not fixed. I'm turning shadows off. That always fixes it. No, you can't. It's on low. Okay. Do I go to low? I go low. Am I at 60 still? I can't... All right. Let's try it out. Oh, this looks beautiful. I'm, I don't think I'm at 60. You know what? It looks great on my screen. I want I'll you guys to know that. It looks great As on my wish. Fantastic. Go to low and you fail the bounty. Dude, I'm What's trying my best. All operatives report. <sighs> it's very dark. We almost yeah. died. I'm okay, by the way. Roger that. Resume operation. Looks like 60 with skipping. Our path's been cut off. <laughs> we better find a way around. I'm not going to Disney, man. 
I'm going to Florida for something else. And I can't tell you about it. You just gotta trust me. I'll be back on Thursday. Wait, Bunny. I should go. All first. will be revealed. Worry not. For the Buccaneers game? You know, I love the Bucks. Is it Tom Brady there now? Nasby too? Dude, I wish. Oh, that's my friend. I'm just I wish. No need to brag. Come on. Let's keep going. Oh, he retired? Oh, okay. Wait, did he play like one season on the Buccaneers and then retire? He was on Patriots for that long and then three? Okay, never mind. My ass does not keep up with sports. The only thing I'm keeping up with is the crossplay beta available right now on the first descendant, which you guys can play right now on Steam, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, or Xbox Series. I don't know what the difference is with Xbox, so I'm gonna be honest. So I'm skipping all the cutscenes so you guys can see the gameplay, you know, and the graphics. Like the graphics are nice. S and X, is that it? Are S and X the same thing? Is what is it just like the S and then the pro version of the S? Is that it? S is slightly weaker. Okay. Yeah, I don't really keep up with the Xbox ways. <laughs> SX. No, not like that. The branding is so hilariously bad. I think that's just an Xbox Where's thing, man. For some reason, they've always had a problem with that. Even 360 and 1 and like... Although, I guess Mortal Kombat just did the same thing. Oh, it's loud now. It was quiet, but now it's not. X has the expansion pack. I... I... My ass is not playing on that. But hey, if you want to play on it, you can. With the crossplay open beta. Or demo open beta. Is it an open beta? Whatever it is. Play it! <laughs> Let's all play together. Control to evade. Like a Souls game. You guys like Souls games. I know you do. It's like a roll and avoid fire. And pick up loot from enemies. Like this. Oh, that's MP. Now, if you guys still are not convinced, it's only because I haven't shown you my active skills. Which I will be doing in just a moment. Let me just get up in the air. I like high-speed anti-gravity racing games. I can't think of a single one. A sub-attack. Okay. Watch my sub-attack. Pretty good, right? Very strong. I'm very strong. He just got slept out. Pretty good, right? Slumped? Coney, does this game have boost? I think it... Well, I can boost up. I might be able to boost sideways. Just gotta unlock it. Coney, the shooting is too loud. <laughs> Sometimes... Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. War is hell. You ever shot a gun before? Sometimes it's just like that. <laughs> Got him. I think it depends on if there are like walls around me and shit. You know what I mean? Sound bouncing off the walls in a chamber or something. It's only loud when the bullets hit. So it's loud a lot. I don't miss my shots. It's been a is that really what it is? Oh my god, you're right. I need confirmation. That's actually what it is. That's funny. Funny. Report your location. Huh. Funny. I guess to to confirm that you got the hit. Alright. It's so you can feel the consequences of your actions. Oh, no. Let's remove some Colossus body parts by pressing the tab button to use a side displays. 
uh, destructible parts that highlight in yellow. When a part turns yellow, you can grapple hook. That's kind of cool. If the Colossus shakes his body in resistance, you can hold on. Okay. You want a piece of me? Is that me? Ah, I see. That part. Gotcha. Time to use my gravity grunt. To hook. In a second, I guess. Uh, I thought it said I could. And I could, did I do it wrong? Wait, he's going down. Here we go. Got you. Go. I thought it said I could do. Wait, what? I thought it said I could grapple up there. Can I not grapple up there? Didn't it say that? Nice use of your gravity. Shut up! I thought it said that I could. Hold on, I'll shoot him. Uh, are you having fun? Please let us know what you think of the first descendant. Bye. <laughs> okay, filling out the show. Oh my God. Alpha, okay. Oh, lost. oh man. All right. All right, I'll fill out the survey. I will. I will fill out the survey in, in just a bit. But right now, I'm gay. You know, I can't stop. Got to form more of an opinion. Got to skip this cutscene. You know, I, I do like the cutscenes. I do want to hear the dialogue. However, I only have an hour to show off this game. So, you know. Let's cut to it. Get right to the action, right? Oh, I never expected correct. Okay. We have to act now. Oh, and here's everybody! Wait! Come to the command center. Fellas, join me! Let's play together! Look at everybody in here! Don't you want to play together? Huh? Download now! Descendant Instructor Skin Shop. Filling out the sur- Oh, it's back. Let's do Looks a like new operation. Good. Let's get down. He's very place. quiet. <laughs> Going forward, your primary. I know this is what you've. Right, unfortunately, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to skip. You know I don't want to, but you know I have to. Sub attack. I can't do a sub attack. We move to Kingston and go to this destination. <laughs> His words aren't hitting you. <laughs> Have you ever went long on a bounty because you were enjoying it? Uh, no, actually. I've played games after bounties, but I don't think I've ever gone long on a bounty. I don't think. Good luck with your assignment. I've kept Hurry playing games. I had a bounty once for Street Fighter V, and I, you know, kept playing it so after that. Together and deliver some good news to I'm HQ. still playing Liza P, so yeah, yeah. As you already and maybe, you know. I'll still be playing the first Descendant. Now, I don't have any equipment yet, so let's sweep the destruction first. Let's find out. Start the mission. Mission attempts available, five. Now, remember, I only have a couple of tries. Okay, hold on. No, oh, I can't pause. I can't. All right, we gotta, we gotta find a solution here. We gotta find a solution. Um, Maybe, yeah, let's turn that down specifically. Okay. Hit marker sound volume is now half. Let's see if that fixes it. I'm shell shocked, Coney. Again, I told you guys, if you're ever in the stream, you know the risk. You know the risk. This could happen at any time. Sub attack! Oh man, got him. Yeah, it, it feels louder, right? Am I crazy? Let's let's bring it down a little bit more. All right, let's move. Let's power this off. Turn that shit off. Now <laughs> the volume contrast is worse. Yeah, but it's not as loud, though, right? 
Ooh. Ooh, it's like a worms grapple hook. Like in the hit game worms. Is that cutscene playing? You guys know worms, right? Uh what Oh. Do I take fall damage? No. Sub attack! Well, they hate it when I pop the sub attack. They just can't handle it. I turned the volume up, then he starts shooting. It's not as bad now. It's working out. Mission complete. Now I have an inventory. Let's replace the weapon and choose a reactor. So the reactor, I have a rev reactor, which ups my skill power and fire skill power bonus ratio. But I also have a plane skill ratio. But this one's way better. This one's ultimate, so I'm going to use that one instead. Also, in terms of weapons... <laughs> Right now, I'm using the uh, the Ominous Hound, but if I use this one, I get way higher DPS. So I'm going to swap that one out right there. And that's a green weapon, so let's pop it. And then also, I can improve the performance with modules. So we're going to use these modules uh, just to show all of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop one. Vibration absorption is great. And then that's going to make so the recoil goes down, which is fantastic. Let's save that, and let's keep on moving. What are those? Start the mission up. Time to move into the operations. Need to zone. secure a route to advance to the large building. Number go up. Love that. Watch Love it when the number the goes up. So I hit that. Okay. Also love hitting the enemy with my sub attack. Take that. Oh, this one's a first strike. <laughs> And if you guys are loving the game, hey, remember to check out their official survey on the What the fuck is that? What? That was like a death claw. What the hell was that thing? It like disappeared. The soulless. Did he gun? Does he just die in one hit? Okay. So he's just very scary. But... I see. Got it. And remember, if you guys are enjoying, just check out their survey available on the First Descendants website. Let them know how you feel. If you have any feedback, also, you know, it is an early demo of crossplay. So if you want to hop on with your friends and shoot some baddies, maybe even get a level or two. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what's up with the sounds. I feel like I can't- oh no. I feel like I can't turn it down even more, right? I can't make it quieter. So, I think we're, we're stuck here. It's unfortunate that the Magisters have manipulated our hate. <laughs> right? Just play the game muted. I think that's against cost. It's fine if somebody else is talking to me. Like she's talking to me right now. A frozen mixture reactor. That one's purple. That's even better. Do I want to shoot that? It's making the hit marker sound. I think. That's just if I hit anything. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It, okay. All right. Coney has the story. I don't know. Haven't gotten that far yet. Thanks, Megilla. 22 months. What better way to celebrate than with the first descendant? Yeah, I did this for you. I knew you'd be showing up, and I had a game I thought you'd really enjoy. And that's the first descendant. And remember, the crossplay beta is available right now. Shooting has stopped, I see. That's the game is very quiet. Can you turn it up? I don't think so. I don't think I should do that. Turn up voices and turn down everything else. No, I don't think I'll be doing that. I know this is sudden, but the alert system in the Allied Power Facility has been. I think I will be enjoying the game as the developers intended. All right, what's next? Let's protect the Allies by going into the operation zone.
Oh, I haven't even checked the T how the FPS. How's the FPS going? Bogus <laughs> troops have infiltrated the facility. We need to stop them. Oh no, the troops are in my building. Guess I'll have to stop. Hey! I thought it would play music or something. What an asshole! What is that guy's problem? I wonder why I couldn't hear him coming. <laughs> what? Uh, uh oh, bad guy there. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Stop hitting my computer! Stop! <laughs> hey! Don't shoot my computer. Stop. No. Stop. Why does everybody want to use my computer so bad? If you just ask, I'll let you. Everybody's trying to get me to turn off my computer. What did I even do? You must find and eliminate the bogus this is what happens every time Coney's DNS screws up. This is me. Every night I stream. <laughs> Defending my fucking DNS. I can't hear you. I'm. So, I can't hear you. I'm so sorry, but I can't hear you. <laughs> I would never play the eighth. Not before before I play the first seven. I'm gonna hit my sub attack. Take this. Oh, he hated that. Time for my Q move. Now he'll never make it here. Mmm, they don't know what to do. Grappling hook. Sub attack. A well-earned W. And look at the loot that they drop. Love it when they drop the loot. Uh, and they disappear. We won! Let's go! Okay. Let's continue on. Is that a purple gun or purple bullets? Let's slide out. You can't slide. <laughs> Check the bunny crafting training subquest on the quest screen. Uh, all right. I will. We won. And I got better proficiency and the number goes up. And now let's check out the craft screen. Uh, this way. <laughs> let's no, no, that's the mission I just did. Let's check the craft screen. It's not tab. It's not control. It's not escape. It is escape. It's check your missions through quests. And main quests are the first descendant storyline. Go through the quests uh, for the main quests. Side quests tell you what to do to make descendants grow. The list of ongoing quests. All right. So let's do the the bunny quest this way. Got it. Let's go complete the bunny quest. That was pretty cool. Hi, chat. Whose song is this? Normal mission street battle composite. Legion of Darkness Monster 2. I don't know that, do I? What, why did it play that music? Composite less than five minutes. Main reward. Okay, so these are just little missions. How do I do the big mission? Right there. Okay. Got it. Let's go visit Bunny. <laughs> Let's do it together. Open it up. All operations at the destruction. That's great. Hit the gavel? No. The gavel doesn't even sound good. Level three! Just getting better all the time. Time to acquire information. <laughs> Follow me. I'll explain the next operation. All right, the information has been acquired. Let's continue forward. To be found near the destroyed theater, but in order to get there, we 
have to defeat Oh, you can move faster with the Looks like this will be I got to use more of these grapples. The oh no, soulless. Gonna have to put these guys down. Kind of scary, but don't worry. I think I should be able to take them all on. Sub attack. Gotcha. Got really loud for a second there. Are you ending stream after bounty? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I might. I might not actually. <laughs> Who knows? Chat's being good though. I'll let Nexon be the judge of that. <laughs> let me get rid of the soulless. I'll just keep popping them and dropping them. That's what we say on this stream. Pop them and drop them. Check out the pop them and drop them merch below the stream. Get your new shirt and hat. <laughs> the soulless be like my ex for real, bro. That's so true. Me too, man. That's so relatable that you said that. Should have a uh, boss in this game that's like my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> I think that, you know, you guys get it, right? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and a golf level. We can provide additional firepower support. I'd love a golf level, actually. Thanks, pilot. Of course, the generator is heavily armored. We can use the enemy bombs against them. I saw the notification that you were streaming. I thought I'll watch it when I get home. Did not watch when I got home for two hours. So you missed the first descendant, actually. We've been playing the first descendant, and now you're not gonna know what's happening in the story. Better go watch that mod. What? I know that's my teammate, but I was curious. Oh wait, that's Devil Dogs four eight five nine. Sub attack. Devil Dogs is not moving. Come on, Devil Dogs, help me out. Let's kill the Vulcan's follower. Devil Dogs. Is Devil Dogs. Devil dogs go. Where's devil dog? Devil dogs. Let's we'll see what he's. What is he up to up there? I want to. I want to see what devil dogs. Is doing. Devil dogs. Hey, what's up? You gonna help? What happens if I block them? No, I thought they would disappear. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Devil Dogs. I didn't mean that. I was curious. Now I've got the high ground. Uh. Got you. This be easier with a teammate. Wish I had somebody to watch my six. Hmm, I think I know this guy's weakness. Sub attack. Told you. I told you. He hates that. He doesn't like that. Hates that sub attack. <laughs> Put his ass down. You know what I'm saying? Like, hit him right in the thigh. He hates that. Cut off an artery. <laughs> he just pulled it. And now we have his gun. Uh, I think. Let's continue on. Oh, there's A, B, and C. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to use the... I got to destroy the generators. Okay. 
All right, let's destroy the generator. Bomb attached. Goodbye, generator. generator remaining now. Finding the enemy's bombs is crucial. Hmm. I I think so too. Yeah. I hope I find them soon. And I hope you guys try out the first Descendant open beta. Check it out on uh, the top of your chat right now. You can see it. Go ahead and join up. And maybe you can meet me on the battlefield like our good friend Devil Dog is here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you could be the Devil Dog in this room. Where is my health? Am I ever close to dying? Oh, it's there in the bottom below my ice. Okay. I was like, am I ever in any kind of danger? Or... But I think I'm just, I'm shooting so good. Take this. Maybe my armor as this guy is so strong. Time for my C move. Watch this. There we go. Yup. He has two weaknesses. The C move and the F move. Watch this. You pull in. Pull in. Into the C move. Into the shoot. Mm. Couple different ways to take out enemies. The choice is yours. <laughs> the fucking Cartman is back. What, well, Cartman, do you have a new name every time? I think that Cartman guy keeps showing up. It's the same guy under different names. It has to be. <laughs> the fucking Cartman guy. Wait, it's a first time chat? That's a different Cartman guy? There have been like four Cartman guys, and they always do the same Cartman lull emote. It's so funny to me. Every time. Why is it? Who is that? <laughs> What's good, Cartman, friend? I love Cartman, guy. Guitar Hero streamer? Love that. I bet I could beat him, though. I'm kind of nice, you know? Here come the Coney's ass ass. No, no. It's not true. What a nice single player experience with no music. Oh, there's music. <laughs> Just we can't be hearing it because we have a... Oh, I didn't pick up the bomb. Son of a bitch. All right, let's go back. I am not ass ass. You're ass ass. I'm good good. Kind of like an ASMR game. Yeah, I think that's what they were going for. Yeah. This is the last generator. I'm sure the Volgus would have never imagined we use their weapons against them. All right, let's go back, kill some more enemies, and then get the third bomb, shall we? Time for my C move. Gotcha. Now nobody stands a chance. Enemies down. Nope, not yet. Sub move. What if I just stop moving? Awesome. I guess I made the right character choice. I think I just picked a very strong character. If I even use guns, just beat the shit out of them. Well, my my sub move is on a cool. Level. Got him! Shoot the red barrels. No way this kills me. It didn't hurt. It's getting kind of easy, actually. I love cooldowns. Me too. I've loved using my moves in thoughtful, uh, premeditated ways in order to achieve victory. Who wants a 360? Anybody out there? Watch this. There you go. <laughs> character 
Uh, oh, did I not pick up the bomb? I thought I did. Did I not? I thought I picked up the bomb. Oh. You lost it? Did I blow up the bomb? Oops. All right. Attach the bomb. The bomb is planted. Back to work. Uh-oh. This looks like it might be a boss fight. Let's go. Soon. Not now, but soon. Can't wait to fight a boss. A strong opponent. A powerful will. Alright, let's get rid of that guy. And then this guy. And then we're gonna wipe out the whole enemy squad. With my sub -group. <laughs> Oh no, an Elite Storm Warrior. I'll use my jump move to stun him. And then hit him a couple times. And then my sub move. And when he swings at me, I dodge out of the way. And I kill the follower Soul Soldier. This guy seems pretty tough. So I'm going to have to do this again. He's stunned. Shoot him in the head. And I drop a shield. That he can't push through. And just like that, the Elite Storm Warrior is defeated. He's down. Got him. Mastery rank up two. Now I have the enhanced bunny cells. Let's continue on our journey. Where did I check progress in map? Detailed map of Kingston Zone. Uh, I can't believe you know the specific zones. Defeat a mission in the beacon. Da -da 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 -da. Squad yourself. Okay. Let's go straight and complete this mission. Oh, wait. The ad popped. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to warn people. My bad. Sorry, everybody. We need to eliminate all dangers so the rest of the board can do their job safely. Desperately need the support of a battle unit. Defeat all mission targets here in the enemy base. Let's take them out. Oh, I'm I'm out of bullets. I didn't know that could happen. I thought I was getting ammo the whole time. Do I have to buy ammo? Oh, never mind. I got more. I don't want to go buy bullets. Let's go finish them off together. By going this way. Don't worry, I'll take them all out by myself. Even though it's a co-op experience that you can play with your friends in the crossplay beta right now. Unfortunately, I'm an East Coast Andy and all my friends are asleep. Otherwise, we would be hopping on the first bullet. But they're all in bed, and I have a flight at 6 a.m. So I'm staying up a little bit. Where's Devil Dogs? Oh, I'm sure he's off on his own journey. You know that Devil Dogs. Always up to something. You know how it is. <laughs> I cannot hear what he's saying. What, the character? What do you mean? They're being pretty clear. Classic devil dogs. Yeah, you know how he is. A little loot goblin. Always after the best loot. Oh my god. Sub attack. They hate that sub attack. I would too if I was a scourge. <laughs> the blaring gunshots are drowning you out. These? I have them set to two. 
I don't know what the. Maybe it's your. Hey, maybe it's your speakers. Actually, might be something up with your speakers. A lot of people don't optimize their home setup. I don't know if you've ever like given that a shot or thought about it, but it'd be worth considering. You know what I mean? Give some real thought to upgrading your home theater setup. Uh, oh, damn! He died! No, they're real loud. I'm on my phone, and it's super loud, too. What kind of phone do you have? Could it be a hallway? Do you have Cricket Mobile? Is that... I think that might be the issue. Do you Mario jump to that guy? I think there might be an issue with your phone. Mobile uses normal phones. Are you sure? We got him, guys. Shield down. Now I'm gonna hit the Mario. Jo oh, he died. <laughs> Never mind. Mission complete. You should know. I'll leave the tab open, but I don't want any further spoilers. They haven't done anything. Hey, I'm getting pretty far along. I get it. I don't want you to lose out on this experience. Yeah. Coming to Mission complete. Let's go into the operation the zone. The rank is up. Now, can I use the, the rank up in my inventory craft by upgrading my descendant? Individual battle styles. Attaining descendants. Alright, I think I'll stick with Ajax. But how do I customize my Ajax? Maybe with... Oh, you could change your UI theme? No. <laughs> Never mind. I could change all this if I wanted. But instead, I'll just change my gun. Holy! When did I get guns? All right. I think I'm going to use this gun, the Red Eye Tactical Rifle. Looks pretty good. Along with the Gangster Shotgun. And perhaps even the sniper rifle. And you can see the damage based on the numbers. When the, the number is higher, that means it's a stronger weapon. Check out our reactors. Yup, love that. A lot of good numbers here. I think I'm going to take this one. Uh, oh, no, the, the tingling phase. Because it was the furthest up, and that's what I want to do. There's also a bunch of external components that you can attach. But I only have one slot. Oh, man. Unless I use my HP support sensor which also goes there, or maybe my shield enhancement. A lot of different things you could do. So many ways to play. But let's see how the number goes up in a real fight. Together. Holy! This gun goes a little foolish. Hear the power of this rifle. Stuff dies fast now. Oh. Learning on the fly. Well, it's easy when it's so intuitive. You click on the thing with the bigger number, and then you win. It's louder. <laughs> Listen to this one. That's without hitting something. Shall we? Oh, never mind. It turned down. <laughs> Stop talking like Seinfeld. Have you watched Seinfeld stream this game? Is that what you're talking about? Does he know what he's talking about? I didn't know he was on Twitch. No. Misses are louder than hits. Are they? Hold on. Oh my god, they are now. When did that happen? Now it's the other way. Okay. Encourages accuracy. Yeah, if you miss too many shots, you just blow out your eardrums. The enemy's almost all down. 
See how the AI hides behind that spot? See how they hide behind cover? That's actually very smart of them because they don't want to die. This kind of suggests the level of care that went into the game. You know? You don't see that from every game. Yeah, Redfall didn't do that. See? Let's continue on our journey and uh, do hack data. Hack that shit. I'm sorry. I did hear it was confidential, but I already read. We've hacked the computer, and now let's move by breaking through the Vulgus. So much while I was asleep. The data has become fragmented, so we'll need more of it. Can I get up there? Wait. Here's Coney about to find some optional loot. Uh, no, no secrets, actually. No. Maybe in the full game. It's just the demo. Sub-attack! They'll add more than that. This game is blooming. We're on an, a secret alien planet. The lighting fixtures are mysterious. Enemies down! Hope I can wipe out this squad. The masked soldier and the vulgar follower. Please stop shooting. No! I'm shooting for the next 15 minutes. I will take out every vulgar follower in my path. Use the kick move? Oh, that guy died. Dude, what? Maybe I'll kill this guy now. Got him for 100 XP. I'll just keep shooting stuff until everything dies. Maybe I'm on Earth. I don't know. I didn't want to spoil the story for you guys. The only way to find out, download the first Descendant now. What mysteries await for you on this planet? Tony, when do we get to play with you? You had your chance! You can find me right now in the world! You can literally find me right now. Wait, I didn't do the Mario game. I'm literally in the world right now playing with it. You could come find me. Why do I feel like I'm not taking any damage? Nobody can hurt me. Thank you, Shy Diz. Thanks for the prime. Take out the shield, and the enemy is down. That's how you get to level 6. I've been watching Kony for two years now. This is my first stream. You are, uh... Thanks for coming. YouTube guy? YouTube guy, right? You stopping by at, uh... <laughs> in for a treat? <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Let's infiltrate the Magister Lab and kill all opposition in our way. Watch out, Ne'er Do Wells. Unfortunately, I'm not streaming on Tuesday or Thursday or Wednesday, so you're gonna have to come back uh, Thursday. I think I'm doing shitty. If I can find enough stuff, I'm doing shitty. TV. I've been wanting to do it. I will give you guys that spoiler. Because you guys uh, stayed longer. We're gonna see if it, if I can. I haven't looked at the comps in a while. But I also have a stream idea that I wanted to do tonight that didn't work out. Because it's one of those, like, the stream is over when I complete the challenge. And the challenge is very hard. So I was gonna do it tonight. But since I have to fly out tomorrow at 6 a.m., I didn't want, like, the chance of me not clearing it. Can you repeat that? Sorry, is it... 
I'll tell you during downtime, all right? The action's a little bit too heavy. Let me finish up, and then I'll tell you, all right? Don't worry. Oh, I hit the Q button. Put up the big shield. No enemy for the Take this. Something. Putting down all of that. Oh, shit. My HP. Not now. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it. No! Is there no help? Uh. There's no help. Right, I think. Oh my god, it's a full heal. A little strong, I think, but you know. Strong. <laughs> all right, all the enemies are almost down. We're about to complete the mission. Maybe I'll hit level seven if I'm so lucky. Getting full HP off a single thing seems a little crazy. That is a lot of cats. That's a lot. That's Kataga. <laughs> Cat bomb. <laughs> Time to hack the data. Let's continue. Second data acquisition confirmed. All right. Second thing about data acquisition. Oh, there's a couple more data acquisitions I have to do. I have to acquire the data. Just wait up. Take this! I missed. I'll kill the mass soldier. I'll do my sub. -view. Take that. Oh, he hates it. Does a lot of damage. Doesn't like the sub. -view. Shield down! Watch out for the jump! Gotcha! Everybody's stunned. Sub move. Alright, I will say the sub move feels very powerful. When you hit that sub move just right, it's tremendous. That's a good one. That's really good. Tony, you have hair. Dude, you're listening to the wrong people. Yes! Wait, I have a new move! My V move! Oh, I did it. I've always had hair. You gotta stop reading chat messages. I've never not had hair. It's so strong that they don't react to it. Well, they might be in shock. It was a grievous injury. I don't know if I'd be able to react if I got hit by that. Time to hack the data. This is the third hack and the strongest. That data is mine. Mission complete. Mastery rank up available. Okay. Let's go fast travel. Back to Albion. Seems that the magisters have been interested in Ingress for a long time. It's all related to the Iron Heart in some way. That's all I know for the moment. Let's go together. And maybe I can find the next thing I have to do. Let's go talk to Alpha, who is in Albion, which is not here. It's in the world map, back here. Let's go to Alpha in Albion. Wait, ooh, uh, wait, a mailbox. Somebody said that they left me a present in this game. Let's go find out what it was. And look at everybody here. Hey, and you guys in here with me? Anybody here? Anybody at all? Damn, that guy looks so cool. I hope I get to look like that soon. Let's try to find the mail. Uh, 
this the mail? No. What did I get left? Uh. Look at all the rewards. Masks, and gifts, and all kinds of stuff. Awesome. And now it's all mine. Now, I could spend some time looking at it, but I think instead my time is better spent exploring the world of the First Descendant and maybe going to Alpha. Alpha. Let's go down and meet up with Alpha, the good guy. Just get to the point. Oh, he's a little terse, though. He's a little mean. Mission number three, fight Devil Dogs. <laughs> Where is Captain Devil Dogs? I will watch this cutscene, though. Let's find out what's happening. Are you absolutely sure the Iron Heart can end this war? Sending a descendant to look for unknown material? Putting together an investigative team? The dimensional wall is already unstable. Who's that lady? Hubba Hubba. I guess. My ass is not listening. Is to seal this damned uh huh. This way, descendant. I wonder what she's up to. Let's find out. It seems HQ is faltering. What? Look. I've been shooting this guns all day. I can't hear a goddamn thing. <laughs> the Iron Heart cannot be controlled. Will you bind the fate of humanity to a mere object? <laughs> Tonight is strange. Humanity I, I turned down the audio because the shooting was so loud, but. A little bit of descending. Must be destroyed. <laughs> Guys, we gotta destroy the Iron Heart. That's what she said, and that's what I'm gonna do in the first descent, but not in the beta, which is what I'm playing now. now I don't think I'll have that opportunity. I'm contacting you well, now for the next few minutes, let's go ahead and take a look at our loadout. Maybe we can optimize this, Kingston, make the number go up just a little bit. Square. Now, As you, know, you could Kingston sort it made up of by type, which is what districts. I will do. If the situation uh, in one that of them didn't do it, actually. Weapon, I meant to do it by, by weapon. Let's do tactical rifle. If you can now, this is the strongest that I have. Who's talking over me? I'm getting my... Oh, wait, mastery rank. Let's rank up. Mastery rank one benefits. Mastery rank two benefits. Wait, do I not have... It says rank up available. How, How do I rank up? Can I die? Yes. How do I level up? It hasn't told me yet, but I have so much mastery. It's right here. I'm mastery rank six, it said. But it says I'm still at one. I guess I'll have to find out another time. Maybe I could check my descendant module. There's a skill power modifier, electric resistance, defense, chill resistance, max HP, increased shield, or skill expansion. The choice is yours. I think I'll have more HP. Just kidding, I can't equip it. Let's try it in the sub-module. Also, can't equip it. Can't equip anything yet, I guess. Let's go to the weapons list. Wow, look at all those weapons that you can use in the game. You can also customize your weapon skins and your special rounds. Customize your bullets or your descendant with a head skin and a body skin. Like the Undisclosed Project or the Neural Network. You can also customize your grappling hook, whether it's advanced material engineering or whatever this is. Customize your name card, your emotes, your UI theme, and so much more with the first descendant available now with the open crossplay beta happening right now on Steam, 
PS5, PS4, and Xbox systems. Thanks, First Descendant, for sponsoring the stream. Okay. Had a great time. But unfortunately, that's going to be it for our First Descendant gameplay. I know. I know. I wish we could play for longer, too. But alas, it is not meant to be. For you see, I am going to Florida tomorrow. Time for Pikmin 99. Do another bounty now? I literally could. Dragonair Silent Gods. An open world adventure with dice rolls. I'll do it right the fuck now. You want to talk shit. They have PC. It's iOS, Android, PC, Mac OS, Battle.net, Origin, and Uplay. No, I don't think I will. You won't? No balls? Of course no balls. Look at the viewer count. I'm popping a fucking bounty right now, you madman. Look at the fucking viewers. Get the fuck out of here. Relax. All right. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Sorry I can't stream tomorrow. Uh, it's a family vacation. I'm going to be gone for like three days. Um, but I'll be back on Thursday. And I might stream Friday. I don't know. Uh, let's see how things go. Um, but definitely stream Sunday. Okay? Uh, oh, my AliExpress order shipped. <laughs> One of my systems. Okay. We don't have the cats anymore because uh, they're DMCA, but don't worry. We got something else. Mods, wrap them up. 